Good. Well, good morning, Pirates. Uh, we made some last-minute changes to the program. Um, well, I think we were not the only one that were not content with the atmosphere yesterday. So what we're going to do is try and create a pirate atmosphere here. Uh, we all know what it is. The first thing what we'll do is get rid of all the formal structures like this. Um, so we're not going to sit here on the table. Um, everything will be informal. We'll form small groups. And um, I will read what we'll do. Um, first of all, throughout the day, um, for the formalities from yesterday, just go to the core team, um, get your contact details there, etc., etc. Um, that point is passé. Um, we will do at the beginning, right now, we will do a hello sessions. Everyone will tell uh, a little story about themselves and about um, their party. Keep it limited. Afterwards, we will write down all the major problems that we have in certain countries. So keep this in mind already. Once this is done, we will form sessions so that we can exchange solutions. Um, I don't think that everyone, I mean, no one can be against exchanging solutions, I guess. <laughs> and once we're done with that, we'll start appointing the board and do preparations for the press release. And afterwards, based on the solutions that we created, we will start creating work groups and uh, work on the actual collaboration. Any questions on this? I have one question. Where is the rest? I really don't know where they are. I think they have been drinking too much rum last night. They, they had to, uh, well, you know, get rid of the thoughts of yesterday. They, they are drowning it, I think. Hmm? Well, over there, the, um, there's some paperwork for the formalities. Yes, you can go to the core team throughout the day for formalities. Do it as quickly as possible, though. If you could just... If you can wait until we're starting the Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, okay, first things first. Um, this is the last formal setup. Um, so let's uh, whack the place, destroy it, we'll go sit in a youth <laughs> circle, and we're not going to use the microphone either. That's what I call formalities. You can do that with the core team. There's paperwork over there. Uh, what I would suggest has happened that do is, uh, while we're discussing and chatting things today, this morning, if you come up and there is a piece of paper there, and if you wish to sign it as a delegate, you sign it, put your name and your country on that list, and that would count as technically signing it because we need to sign the statutes before we elect the board. So that needs to be done first. Then, if you're going to be around this afternoon for the press conference and would like to formally sign the, uh, the statutes with a nice title page and in front of cameras and so on, indicate that when you sign it today and we will set up something for that this afternoon. So there's an informal, the, the sort of legally technical part this morning where you just sign to say, as a delegate, you accept these statutes, which then creates PPI and, sorry, institutes PPI and allows us to elect a board, then this afternoon we have the, the, the kind of the legally not technical but the fancy <laughs> formal one in front of cameras and so on that will be in front of the document and will hopefully be there. Let's yeah. let's um, uh, the other quick thing I could say is if, um, if anybody else wishes to stand as a candidate for the board, please come and see me uh, at some point. What? No. 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 Okay. Nobody else should see me. Nobody else should stand. Okay. Uh, well, let's create a circle then and forget about this desk because I think it's a symbol of a lot of frustration and it's uh, the exact opposite thing of pirate culture. So um, that's it. Shall I hammer it? <laughs> it's not my table. I don't want to destroy someone else's property. Hmm?
Yeah, we will we'll only use the table for the press conference. Uh, we will locate the table over there. If everyone has flags from their country, it would be nice if we could uh, collect all the flags on the on the wall. But that's for later concern.
Filter. We even have a, a proposal right now in Parliament about uh, extending the definition of child pornography to to also include what is pure uh, fiction, like uh, drawings and uh, possibly even text, so that there will be some more to block. Um, we also have a proposal in Parliament to block uh, access to uh, foreign uh, uh, gambling sites uh, that do not pay Danish taxes. Um, we uh, block sites like all of AP3 um, and uh, the Pirate Bay. Uh, actually, without a real uh, court case, um, the anti pirates are abusing some special uh, laws we ha have for preliminary injunctions because then they don't have to prove anything, they just have to look credible to the judge. And they're going against uh, ISPs in court. The Pirate Bay is not allowed to even uh, talk in court, even though they are the one who are blocked. And um, right now, this, all this blocking is done on DNS level. Um, but uh, uh, the latest uh, decision about the, the Pirate Bay actually says that the ISP has to do whatever is needed to block access, which is actually illegal according to Danish law. So um, this uh, uh, decision, this preliminary injunction, which because our law is abused is actually permanent, this is actually going to, to uh, our High Court now or our Supreme Court. And um, it looks like uh, we have a, a parliament where everybody thinks it's a really good idea to block a lot of things and only one or two parliamentarians 
uh, actually say that this might not always be a good idea. Um, we don't really have much time, uh, so it would be smart if we combine writing down all the issues that we have with the hello talks. How many time do we have? Uh, one hour, and then we'll have to start um, going to appointing members. <laughs> so in, in one hour, we need to present each other, and we need to write down all the problems. So two minutes per person would work, yes. Or per country is even better, but let's not be too strict, okay? Just, okay. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Radush Kovac from Serbia. I'll be short as possible. I uh, do a lot of technical stuff in uh, various aspects of IT and related stuff. I do a lot of uh, coding work. Uh, <coughs> I, contrib I have some contributions in open source societies, and I'm mostly involved in area of IT security. Uh, uh, I do uh, some things like uh, like uh, security consultations and that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm also uh, contributing by blogging about uh, internet IT transparency and uh, big brother evasion tactics. And I think that's uh, interesting for you. That will be all for me. I'm Jessica from Brazil. And as long as I am the only Latin American here, I think uh, we should. Uh, we have di very different problems from you, and we organized it, I think, about two years ago, and we already could drop a project law in Brazil that proposed the surveillance of internet, keeping the logging of people for three years, and all the authorities would have access to those information, and we, uh, with another groups of research and academic groups, we could drop this law. And they are proposing those kind of, of law in Brazil very frequently. And we are always fine against those things. But we also have some good things like our government is broken some drugs patents like AIDS and cancer. And now we are reformulating our copyright law and trying to, to uh, limit the, the years that people had to wait until things drop in the public domain and create exceptions like for educational key in those uh, our universities we have to to make copies of the books the books are not just uh, are very space well it uh, they are not published anymore so we make copies and the policy goals if the copyright associations and uh, close the things in universities and we are trying to, to create those exceptions. Mm, I think uh, we are trying to officialize the party but we have half a million of signatures to get and I think it's going to take a long time. It's not as easy as, as here, like tech party. They told me they could get a thousand, right? A thousand signatures and we must get half a million and we think it's going to take like five years to officialize, but we're trying very hard to, to do that. I want to use this. this. So, my name is Christian. About me, I'm a legal advisor. Excuse the microphone because the people in the stream can't hear you otherwise. Okay. So, my name is Christian. I am a legal advisor as my day to day job, a pirate in the free time. Um, I work usually in international cooperation and regional development, uh, but uh, since I think I'm the only lawyer <laughs> in the party, I also do copyright stuff. <laughs> um, until yesterday, we thought we are a very unfortunate country. We only need uh, 25,000 signatures to found the party. We found out Brazil is worse, so <laughs> we are feeling much better now. Uh, <laughs> um, our countries are not 
quite typical. This is because uh, before 1989, everything in our country was not copyrighted. Uh, we only get from the Western Europe uh, movies on uh, VHS tapes and share it among each other. Sharing was a normal thing. Uh, books from the West didn't not, uh, did not come in the book's form, but only Xerox copies. Uh, tapes were also copied from one or each other. Sharing was the main thing and the normal thing. After 1989, uh, copyrighted products started to appear, but the sharing culture remained. So the internet came. It, not, it did not came like uh, many companies, big companies starting networks, but uh, one people was buying a uh, high-speed access... Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, abonnement. Yeah, and uh, then start uh, drawing lines between apartments, and this is why um, at least some of the cities are like a spider web. All the wires are. He was also sharing the internet. Yeah, <laughs> so we start by sharing internet, and the main thing for internet in our country was sharing movies, music, books. Everything was normal until 1996 when somebody said, uh, what about having a copyright law? And what about making it illegal to share something? It is legal to download, but it is uh, illegal to put uh, on the other's disposition. Um, it is a criminal offense. Um, you can get to jail uh, between 5 and 10 years. <coughs> Nobody went to jail for this uh, because no judge ever granted this uh, sentence. Uh, but the Copyright Association used this uh, to promote themselves. How? Uh, they caught somebody who was counterfeiting CDs and said, uh, be beside counterfeiting and selling them on the corner, uh, you had a computer at home, right? Right, you had copyright material. Yeah, you are a pirate, an internet pirate. So two people from Romania are in jail now because they are internet pirates. No relation with, uh, the, pirates. with, with the pirates. In fact, they were... <laughs> No, I don't think we are fighting. Now, those people were bad. They were doing other stuff. They had okay. a long list of accusations <laughs> over <of> this. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody put a tag on them, internet pirates, so... Um, so this is why the normal thing in Romania is to be a pirate. We are all pirates. And somebody thought, how about introducing a three-strike law? How about a data retention directive to be implemented? Uh, how about uh, jail time for uh, people? Everybody is a pirate. We had to appear like a movement because somebody forced us. We took the model from the Swedes, so thank you. <laughs> What about the walking form in Romania? What is the form in Romania? No, no. Yeah. Uh, people are um, getting informed, uh, but not the right people. The copyright people are getting informed and start applying the same strategy from the rest of the Europe and the world in Romania. So, they are talking now about blocking, they are talking about... Um, Limiting access, uh, all the good, all the good time from the uh, <coughs> the good stuff from the rest of the world is now being implemented in Romania. So until we get the twenty five thousand signatures, amazing, but we are getting uh, noticed. We are invited in consultation with the government, uh, even though we are not kind of officially founded like a party, but we started an NGO, so we are civil society who is fighting for the rights. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Well, let me just step in front. I'm Ivan Barros. I'm the, I'm the chairman of Czech Pirate Party. Uh, let me introduce you what we do. We were founded one year ago. Almost we've got uh, anniversaries coming up, or we already had. So we were reg on Monday. We were regularly registered, and the scope of the Pirate Party of Czech Republic can be divided into two things. We are strongly uh, interested in European law, so uh, we are looking forward to fight ACTA and all the French things coming, Gadopi and stuff. So we hope we're going to cooperate on that because a lot of stuff's going from Brussels down to small level countries, you know, and we got to adapt it. And uh, we've got also several uh, nation issues. 
The first of it, everybody is in pirate by the law in Czech Republic. We started because um, the, the companies that actually uh, provide the support to authors, they passed the laws, which is running already for three years, that every single media that can store the information or make a copy of the information is special text by the law, which is like the piracy, uh, maybe pirate payment that uh, you already pay to the private organization to actually... Uh, it's an advanced payment that you can make a copy, which is running into thousand in case you buy a copy machine or Xerox or you pay from every single CD. Even the paper that's used for copying is taxed specially for that. It's the case in France called years. Yeah, yeah. Actor goes on with compensation systems such as this will be eliminated, but at the same time enforcement will be strengthened. Yes. Do notice. Yeah. So that's the that's the one that's the one of the enemy of us and for sure all the all the copyright protectors. The idea of the Czech Pirate Party is that it's a non commercial usage should be free. You know, as a university usage of the programs and stuff like that, as long as you don't make a profit on using that. It's the same for DJs, you know, public audience production if it's not the matter of making money. We've got another big issue, which we want to also push up to other parties, which is transparency in the, in the state and government issues, such as all the accounts of the government should be transparently held on the Internet. We are the only party in Czech Republic that's got a transparent account on the bank when you can look it up, who put the money on it, who withdrew money, what was the purpose. That's why we don't get any money from nobody, because nobody wants his name to be connected with the pirate party. So that's, you know... But uh, this is the way how it's supposed to be. The Czech government loses two, 200 billion crowns. I don't know how much is in dollars, but one, uh, uh, one uh, divided by 20. They're losing it just on the bad, you know, uh, government uh, policies with the money and stuff, all the black market, gray, gray market and stuff, which is an uh, unbelievable amount of money. So another issue of the Czech Pirate Party is the transparency in any kind of stuff. So we've got open forum for everybody can participate, not even the pirates. So that's what we are running for. <coughs> yeah. The, then another thing is, another thing is, uh, we are for uh, we are fighting against what we call the national firewall because the government wants to control on online betting. And the only way how they can fight this thing is actually to filter the content that goes abroad, since it's illegal to run it on our IP addresses. That means they got to monitor all the stuff that's going out of the Czech Republic, you know. So then where is the where is the limitation? We've got also strong uh, telephonic companies that are actually filtering the internet based on and again based on the files bought from Britain, whatever NGOs, Internet Watch Foundation, which actually says what is legally legal, what are the sites that that can be visited and cannot, which made us to actually shut down the Wikipedia because of some uh, CD cover that was a naked child, and uh, they actually shut down all the torrent stuff, even though there was nothing in the contract with the O2 Telefonica and Vodafone stuff that you signed, I'm expecting you to filter the content. Uh, lately, and the last thing, again, uh, the fight against the child pornography race and the terrorism, so the government spending lots of money on things like the red button to report like illegal pages, then the police got to work with that, you know. So that's the thing. So we are for the free sharing, non-commercial usage and stuff, no filtering on the internet, and transparency because it's our money that the government is dealing with. Well, I'm Nicholas Solkist. Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't talk too much considering I'm in the core team, but, um, well, I'm also from Sweden. Okay. Um, Okay. Uh, well, uh, I've been interested in international issues for a very long time. Um, actually, we, we had a group presenting about DMCA in the 1990s. Yeah. Um, so I was basically introduced to DMCA in 1999, although I don't live in the US, but we're concerned about it. And that's where the interest was born. And uh, when the Pirate Party was born, I was um, really happy about it. And, uh, well, 
I think that it's important to work on issues on a local and international level and also be good in lobbying big organizations like EU, like um, well, other organizations that can do things for us, also working in a more inofficial way like we do here and with activists and everything. But um, we have to learn how to work better between ourselves, between other organizations, and uh, we shouldn't miss our opportunity. We have to fight the issues we are standing in front of. I guess uh, Swedish can delegates can tell more about the specific Swedish issues, so I'm not going to continue because we have limited time. Okay. Hello, I'm Andrew Palavota. I'm from the UK. Uh, we've got a lot of problems in the UK in terms of uh, pirate issues. I uh, don't know if you've heard about the Digital uh, Economy Bill, uh, but it's a real shit. <laughs> um, it takes away a lot of our freedoms. Uh, it introduces censorship. Uh, we've already had censorship from the uh, Internet Watch Foundation, which is actually based in the UK. Um, and it's just a big... Well, the Inter Internet Watch Foundation is just a big draconian power that's completely unaccountable um, to the public. And a lot of things need changed. We need to change the voting system as well, because uh, that's a big mess. Uh, but we're fighting. We're going to try and change it all. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, hi. I'm Andreas from the German Pirate Party. Um, I'm here with my co-delegate Andreas, with uh, our member Joachim, and uh, especially there's Wolfgang from the German Pirate Party who does the stream for us, so I want you to give them a big applause for us all. Uh, <laughs> He's actually the guy who goes to every assembly just to do the streaming. That's, he's, uh, that's very valuable for us. Um, you were all talking about this whole child pornography, internet censorship thing. And I can say you, you, f you fight this fight. We won it already. Why did we win it? Because in Germany, every party is afraid of the pirate party since we got 2% on our first national election. That's uh, even more than the Green Party had on their first national election, and that's enough to get a seat in most of uh, European countries. Actually, this whole uh, censorship thing was what started the move pirate movement in Germany uh, last year. We were founded in 2006, but uh, we had 850 members in February uh, 2009. We now... Uh, I got uh, numbers from four days ago, we are now in 13,115. So um, I think, I just want to give you the, that thing, uh, take this whole censorship thing, this is a pirate thing, other parties won't dare to say we are against blocking child pornography, not because we are for child pornography, but we are against blocking. And that's the thing you have to, to do, and we actually will uh, give you some... Uh, some advice uh, that try to get something in English about this whole thing that went uh, in, in Germany. Since the same thing with uh, Cecilia Malstrom, who is now uh, in charge of this. Uh, she uses the exactly same methods as we had last year. And uh, since then, we have the same, we have the same uh, topics now. We have ACTA, we have SWIFT, we have uh, copyright stuff. Um, but I think we are quite far enough since... No one will what, wants to get too far over the edge because we are the stomachless sword above the head of every other party in Germany right now. And that's a very good position. Thank you. So, hello, everybody. I'm Jerry Vyoff. I'm here for the core team, too, but I'm going to present... Uh, talk to you a bit about the process of the Luxembourgish Pirate Party. So uh, we're a very young party. We uh, were founded in October 2009. Uh, but I'm quite proud to tell you that already now we have 50, 50 members. And uh, it's quite amazing because uh, in Luxembourg it's pretty difficult to enter into political uh, the political discussions because uh, I, I think you all know our Prime Minister Jean-Claude Juncker and he's like a god in Luxembourg and his Chris Democrat Party dominates politics and uh, they are quite uh, on the, the right side and they also pro uh, proposed for example uh, the, uh, they voted data retention without there having been any discussions about it so 
now it's our uh, our uh, our uh, task to inform people that in 2005 already data retention wa wa uh, was active in, in Luxembourg. So uh, after the foundation in uh, 2009, October 2009, we uh, started working uh, against uh, surveillance cameras which were installed uh, on uh, public places in Luxembourg and where there have been some uh, weird uh, actions by our uh, in the Minister of Interior Affairs who just prolonged uh, and extended uh, surveillance cameras without there having a be been any discussions, any public debate, and he just said, okay, it's a good thing, it's a good thing, we're going to do extend uh, surveillance cameras. We don't need, he, he actually said, we don't need discussion because I think it's good, so we're going to do it. So uh, this already, I think, uh, was, <laughs> it was bad in reality, but it's good for the party because... Uh, it gave us the opportunity to get some publicity right after our foundation. So now we are starting uh, to get set up, and we have some uh, we have first flyers printed out. We have some uh, we have an ACTA uh, page prepared, and we are also very active on the international level. I mean, uh, you will know we have there are about 400,000 Luxembourgers, so we have to expand our horizons. And we were, for example, at the Swiss general meeting. We were at some uh, regional meetings in Germany. And uh, we are prepared to, uh, to travel to meet new pirates. So if you uh, ever have a congress or so, feel free to... Uh, <laughs> it sounds weird, but <laughs> if you uh, don't hesitate to ask us, because we uh, like traveling and like meeting new pirates, exchanging ideas. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, Give the microphone to you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Pascal. What do you want to talk to? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Always this president. Um, I am the vice president of the Pirate Party Switzerland. We've been founded in July uh, last year and have already over 850 members. Uh, we've been uh, actively working on the organization of the party, on the uh, different working groups we have uh, internally and uh, information to the people a relation with other parties we've met a lot of boards member of other parties to discuss uh, the common points we have to know which, which party we can uh, work on which topic because we've got indeed as you know left theme we've got right themes and um, so as I guess all other pirate party we don't position ourselves on the left right uh, side so we don't get default enemies we don't need that and we got only default friends from everywhere and uh, I was quite surprised uh, I was pretty sure we were more left as a movement and I was amazed that actually we have more common points with right parties um, except on the corporate things, indeed. <laughs> but even there, uh, we have some kind of monopoly things for the corporate uh, stuff in Switzerland, and the uh, right liberal, liberal parties don't like that, too. So even there, there could be common work. Um, maybe you want to say something? President? Yeah, hello. I'm the president of the Swiss Pirate Party. <laughs> um, I go on the actual uh, the themes which are actually actually um, current. Ah, current, the cu uh, current problems. Yeah, <laughs> um, we have, uh, for example, the plan to interdict the uh, um, import and spreading of violent games. Um, national or parliament accepted on this law. The federal council has to accept uh, do a law now, but the council is against. So it might be funny <laughs> what they do. Um, we have the voluntary stop shield, as in Germany, but it's voluntary, so the ISPs don't have to have it, but the big ones do. So actually, it makes no difference whether it's from the state or they do it voluntary. Um, what do we have? Oh, yeah, we have, yeah, we have ACTA. Oh, yeah, I have some advertising now. <laughs> um, we have 
done a portal named Stop Acta. It's stop actainfo um, We plan to protest against Acta, Acta the day when they um, are in Switzerland. Um, it will be in August, I guess, or July, August, mm, somewhere like there. And we plan to do an international protest. So on the um, bottom floor, there's a flyer with a web page, stopacta.info, and you can go there. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I was about to t say that to the translation thingy, yeah. Yeah, yeah so um, we already have a translation uh, to Portuguese, Spanish, German, French, English, um, Brazilian, uh, Portuguese, yeah. And uh, if you want to translate the page, feel free to send us a translation. Um, you can always contact us, um, the email address is um, the PDF you got. Yeah. Oh, so can you send me an email? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to see that it's in there. Okay. Um, and the second thing, we will do an um, international uh, pirate camp in Valorp in July. Everyone is welcome to come there. Send me an email if you want. Um, do we have another? Thing? <laughs> okay. We also have Patrick Macher here. Uh, we're proud that we have provided a co-president for the Pirate Party for some months. I want to thank him also that he did that work. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. Okay. Okay. Hi. I'm uh, Boris Turovsky, today representing the Pirate Party of Russia alongside our chairman Stanislav. And um, the current attempt at a pirate party in Russia has been founded in um, summer 2009, so last year, when the pirate movements uh, all over the world, uh, all over the world, got uh, media attention. Actually, in uh, Russia, the situation is uh, very different in, in, in many aspects than uh, in most of Europe. For example, the, the main problem is not that the laws are bad, because the laws are actually very good at some points, but their implementation uh, is not that good. So it um, quite often happens that although, for example, in Russia it's uh, legally, uh, there's almost nothing that, that can be, according to, to the, really to the law, done against uh, downloading from the Internet because the law provides that, that the Internet is free. But on the other hand, if someone has a grudge against you or uh, if you stepped on, on some twos, then miraculously the law is interpreted in a way um, that uh, you become, get punished for copyright infringement. Or uh, also the uh, pretty current uh, situation was when uh, um, a civil rights group was prose prosecuted for alleged copyright infringement, although... Uh, as said, it's, if, if, we, if you really stick to the law, uh, it's, there is no possibility to, to, to prosecute for, for copyrights. And, um, of course, we have the problems that's, that's uh, pretty common, that it's very difficult to be accepted as political party. So we need 50,000 members from at least half of the Russian regions, and um, it's quite a lot of work. So at the moment we are working towards uh, becoming registered as a social movement. And uh, among our uh, short-term goals are also to fight for the acceptance of open um, open licenses, open open standards, because at the moment it is. Uh, here, here, that's the point where the law is bad. It's almost impossible in Russia, for example, for a, for a company to use um, uh, open source software uh, and not become uh, the target of, uh, not become accused of uh, using pirated software. Because the law is such that it's uh, virtually no different if you use an unlicensed Windows or, or a free Linux. Yes, uh, I think that's it. Hi everybody, I'm Angel Todorov from Bulgarian Pirate Party and I suppose 
We are the youngest official registered party, pirate party in, in Europe and maybe in the world since uh, we get the legal registration on Sunday, on the last Sunday. We are about uh, 600 in Bulgaria now, but uh, since uh, the last Sunday, since the last Sunday we are growing very fast and we hope that uh, till the end of this year we will be a couple of thousands because in Bulgaria the pirate ideas are widespread the pirate movement is strong and uh, of course we have the most of the problems of the pirate parties in the world but also we have problems with uh, the uh, main civilian rights in Bulgaria we have problems with private, patent, private monopoles too because the Bulgarian democracy is young and many things are not correct <laughs> uh, because of our post-communist uh, period so I hope that uh, this meeting will be uh, the beginning of something very good we can share ideas, we can share uh, many things between us uh, like experience from like Germany and Sweden, the parties that have uh, success on their, uh, in their countries and I hope that uh, we will meet each other uh, more often because uh, that's the way uh, to progress, that's the way to make the pirate ideas uh, uh, something real in our world. Thank you. Just a few words from me. Hello. Uh, yeah, can you help me with that? Thank you. Okay, uh, I just, yeah, I need that. Uh, to uh, tell you so something about uh, what we uh, have worked before the initiation, where we were part of the Freedom Not, Fe Freedom Not Fear campaign, you know that, it was in Sweden, in uh, Germany, in Poland, I think, and we were working on uh, the telecom package, uh, it's the, the Bono and Svensson uh, amendments, and uh, of course we are fighting with... Um, data retention directive from 2008 and we are uh, very close to put this uh, law in our constitutional court like Romania did and so okay uh, yes and we are working uh, about uh, implementing uh, free and open source software in our government thank you I guess I can say a few things as well. Uh, my name is Johannes. I'm not a delegate from Sweden. Uh, I can hold. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's no problem. Um, I'm a Swedish law student, a member of the Swedish Pirate Party. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, assist uh, Christian, Hux, Erik, and Amelia here in Brussels with uh, various issues. Um, such as like the translations uh, of uh, the uh, European Parliament resolution on ACTA and uh, well there are some things about trade secret law as well whether we should bother about that at all okay sorry <laughs> um, also I've created a, a working group in Sweden called Juristgruppen uh, I've been trying to uh, connect and collect all people with um, legal training in Sweden um, well, all pirates at least and um, well we're uh, at the moment trying to look into whether the so-called PNR system is um, in line with EU law or whether it's in breach of EU law um, and also this initiative, Juristgruppen, I'd love to if that would expand to an international level so that we could sort of gather all legal knowledge and competence in the pirate movement so but um, I'll leave to the other Swedes to explain a bit more about what happens in Sweden uh, hello Boże from Poland uh, I will sell, uh, say two things one will be funny and the other will be more technical issue here maybe and uh, about the PPI stuff. Uh, the first thing um, we have all the problems that all the others are saying ACTA, censorship, blah blah blah, child pornography everywhere, yes? Uh, but the most funny thing is probably we are one of the countries that all software is really illegal. I will tell you, uh, tell you why. In our panel code there is uh, 
uh, an amendment that every software that could erase or remove data from the computer is illegal. So for, uh, Microsoft Office is illegal because he can remove files, yes? yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's irrational. We have laws such that because our politics don't understand the, the new technology that is happening around them. They are, they, they are lost. Yes, uh, I think that uh, this is also some kind of idea for all of you that uh, new technology issues can also raise a pirate movement, yes? The same like censorship in Germany. There are at least five or six such issues that we could like emphasize very good and we could like work with them to show that we're doing really something important. Uh, the second thing is about the, the PPI statue. I still don't have a copy that I could read, so I don't know if Poland will sign it. Yes, we need to decide it because I don't know what I am signing, yes, right now. I would like to have a copy and I need time and discussion because yesterday was like vote, vote, vote stuff. I don't like it because every time... I attended a lot of international conferences, it's like my third, and we always had discussions two or three days like that, like here. And now we have like one hour, and the rest time is vote, vote, vote stuff. It is, it is for me, for me internally, it is completely wrong. That's what I would like to say, and thank you. Um, hi, my name is Tess, I'm from Sweden. Um, since our party leader is stuck in Sweden because of the volcano, uh, I am here <laughs> to represent Sweden instead of him and our vice party leader. Um, so uh, I'm going to tell you shortly about what's happening in Sweden right now. Um, at the moment, we have a campaign for the parliament. Um, we have uh, a lot of discussions uh, about how want, we want to work in the parliament and um, hopefully we'll uh, get into the parliament uh, in, uh, the in the autumn. Yeah. Uh, um, and um, right now the biggest issue is um, EPRED uh, and AXA and FRA in Sweden. Um, because they um, have, um, they can um, blackmail all the downloaders to pay fees without going to uh, a court or anything. Uh, and so, if the um, companies uh, that you have downloaded uh, music they, they own uh, can uh, blackmail you and say you have to pay, or otherwise we will take you to court and you have to pay the a double uh, amount. Um, and um, I also want to say that I'm, uh, I agree with Boage uh, about uh, what's happening, what happened here yesterday. Um, I don't feel uh, comfortable uh, signing those papers because I, I, I felt frustrated yesterday. Uh, I uh, don't think, uh, importantly, I think. Um, Maybe the statues are right. Maybe they are. But I don't know what PPI is going to work for. And that's the problem for me. Um, because I haven't... Uh, we stroke what PPI was going to work for. And now I don't know what, uh, we are going, what our goal is. Um, and for me it feels like we want to copyright the part, pirate party name. And I don't feel that that feels okay. Um, um, but I will discuss it with my board because I can't take that decision to sign that um, by myself. Uh, and we'll see what hap will happen. Yeah. I'll keep it very short. I'm uh, Sanna Grosse. I'm from Sweden as well. I'm uh, currently running for parliament in Sweden. I'm the second youngest one on the list. Tess is the youngest one. I'm also a member of the board of the youth organization. <laughs> uh, um, I've also been working a bit with Amelia and uh, Eric. I was sent to Geneva in January to attend to a VIPO meeting. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Hello, I'm uh, Alexander from Serbia and uh, I will speak about myself and uh, problems in my country a bit in extended way when I speak about my candidature for the board. And uh, uh, the point uh, I want to make now when um, we speak about our countries is that uh, we have a lot of problems and we have a problem with development and transition and stuff but uh, we pirates uh, uh, try to have the most uh, uh, knowledge of, th of that problems in a way uh, to adopt the, our actions not to make the same mistakes the former politicians made before us because uh, we have a, um, a great ground to learn from because um, the people in my country are always rebuilding the system uh, th there is no point to rebuilding the system. It's, uh, it's uh, very important to upgrade it, constantly upgrade, constant communication, and, and that's the basic uh, ground for pirates in Serbia. And uh, as I said, uh, the more detailed I will be later when I speak for myself. Thanks. Okay, but uh, for example, we have now a uh, write down na national problems. So we have ACTA first, censorship second. Someone would I like to add something to the list because uh, maybe we could create list right, right now. Retention. Data retention is the third one. Yeah. Swift, the fourth one. Index. 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 Yes, the fifth one. Fifth one. <coughs> Net neutrality, yes, net neutrality is very important. Uh, and it's also like. I have, I have a formulation. Data retention, yes. Uh, somebody is writing uh, down this? Because we want to do the write down, write down national problems right now. Okay, somebody just write it on the laptop, yes? Uh, it will be easier. So we have censorship, we have. <laughs> uh, you seen a uh, uh, write down national problems point yes we need to just censorship uh, data retention uh, acta uh, swift the hmm? index swift uh, net neutrality monopoles Private monopolies, yes. Uh, medical patents, yes. Medical patents, yes. Uh, I, I can. Mm -hmm. Just that everyone is aware. If you say private monopolies, you include national banks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, maybe. Uh, Okay, so can I see that? Did you say private monopoly? Private. Private. Yes, private. private. Uh, okay, uh, anything, anything else that we would like to discuss? Like, uh, software patents. Uh, software patents. Yes. Uh, hmm? uh, free strikes and Hadopi stuff. Yes, it's like... The Irish delegate who's connected by the IRC would like to have something read out. So if okay, uh, where, where, where is... Um, are you on IRC? Are you on um, the yeah. IRC? Yeah, the Irish. Who wants yeah if you say. could yeah, sort that out. If you could ask him to read it. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, um, Thomas Burke from the Finn... No, from the Ireland, the Irish Pirate Party, wrote a text. He's um, virtually present. Um, yeah, I'm going to read it because he wanted so, and he's a delegate, too. So um, that's from Thomas Burke from Pirate Party Ireland as a delegate virtually present. Eh? It's, hello, my name is Thomas Burke and I am a member of Pirate Party of Ireland. In our country, the views of the Pirate Party are almost wholly ignored by most politicians and ordinary citizens alike. We have had a data retention bill passed which can only be seen as an attack on people's privacy. We have had our local version of the RIAA, known as IRMA, it's the Irish Recorded Music Association, joined together with AIRCOM, one of the country's major ISPs, to implement a free strikes regime. 
There were high card proceedings taken to stop this, but on Friday 16th, the result came down on the side of the deal there by allowing them to implement it whenever they want. It is unknown if the case would be pursued or the Supreme Court, but on to the Supreme Court, but we can only hope that it is. Of course, if all that wasn't bad enough, there was another bombshell dropped on Friday when it came out in the newspapers that the government was in talks with several ISPs to institute some form of internet filtering. It is not yet known what from this will take, but since ICOM's deal with IRMA also included the blocking of the Pirate Bay, we can only assume that it will be not be limited to solely child pornography sites as has been hinted at. Bearing all that in mind, we, were, we are working hard to get numbers we need to register. We only need 300 members, but our country is not known for having a very politically motivated populace. So this is a slow process, but we will get there in the end. Thank you for listening. Yeah, that's what he wrote. I think that we have to add corruption on, us, on the list. It's crucial. As a as a uh, idea. What? But uh, just let know to people. Let know. <laughs> what I supposed to do with this? Somebody else to tell something? Or a pause for cigarette? <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I would like to take the chance to have a general talk about my experience I had previously when I uh, started the court initiative, you may know. Um, you know, Andrew Norton stepped down one time and there was no one who took his uh, succession and I just felt it was very important to make that happen. That we, we, we all started somehow as activists we, see, we saw several problems we want to address and what I think is really needed is that we not only address problems and ju find solutions to that problems but that we all together think about what is our society's ideals. I don't think we should have one society ideal we want to develop but like a real range we want to develop a range of society ideals we can stand for as pirates or as members of pirate parties and we really want to work hard for that. I can understand those who are feeling uncomfortable, uncomfortable because they had like, uh, there were information problems. We didn't all get those informations passed to the people on we would like have to pass on when we, want, when we started organizing the conference and I can really understand that this is an urgent problem PPI has to fi find ways to facilitate because it is totally essential that we all work together we are working on global problems and I'm really happy that this that we now are at the point where we are starting to move together we are not like a group of activists we should stay together, we should stick together even we have different opinions and that's totally okay for a movement because a movement is not an ideology, a movement is a group of people who are going ruefully in the same direction but there is always an internal discourse about what should be and what should not be and that's exactly what a movement makes very strong because ideologies will die out activists will die out but a movement will always keep alive. That's also something uh, Robert baden Powell, the founder of the Scout Movement, I'm sorry, I'm a scout, <laughs> said, but I think that it is a very essential thing. You know, it's, it sounds simplistic, but if you really think about it and if you had those experiences I had, you realize that it's not simplistic. A movement won't die out. Ideologies will die out. Activists will die out, but the movement keeps on. It keeps on going. And I would really like to thank everyone who made that happen. Everyone who got not named, everyone in the core team, everyone in my personal, um, in my personal area, everyone in the Pirate Party Swiss, which also supported me. 
And I'm really happy that we are now at the point where we can start make it happen to act as a world movement. Thank you. I, I, I can, uh, maybe we should somehow d discuss about the international communication problems. It was a problem from the beginning. Maybe, pr maybe we should start, for example, exchange our phone numbers also. Because mailing doesn't do the proper job, always. Yes? I would like to give my cell phone to every other pirate parties from all over the world. It's no problem for me. And I would like... Uh, Yes, yes, uh, uh, but I, uh, <laughs> for example, I haven't uh, write my number there, and I uh, probably this document should be uh, like ended properly with all the contact details, especially phone number, because phone number, if, if someone from other country will call me, then it is most likely that I will respond properly. <laughs> I very little use my <laughs> Skype account. <laughs> hmm? Jabber? Yes, of course. Okay. Who wants the microphone? Hey, good morning, guys. I'm. What's happening? We're done with. We're done with everything or what? It's a break. Okay, then. Oh, that is a break. I, I, I was just not following. It's a group discussion, so we, everybody talk to uh, all together at the same time. It's called discussion. Okay, good. Yeah, you want one, Queen? Shake it. Sorry. I, I, I'm just. So. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Otherwise, I would like to introduce myself, but. No point in that. Sorry. Everyone, please take your seats. Is everyone upstairs? We need everyone gathered in this room. Really, is someone checking downstairs? Is everyone ready? Yes? Okay, well, I'll start with a little bit of history. For almost a year, we have a 40... Okay. Okay, it's working. <laughs> um, well, first of all, a little bit of history. For almost a year we have a functioning core team who is um, well synergizing the movement um, it has a bank account and it's a registered entity it has no rights or whatsoever but it's functioning the fact that we're all here is living proof of this I want everyone to know this yesterday 
all delegates showed that they want a PPI. And we have created statutes. However, building something is a process. It's not something you can do overnight. You need bricks and you... Well, you know how it works. It's a bit the same when it comes to building an organization. And when you want to make something, you want to make something right, you know. You, you do either don't do something or do it good. We have noticed that there is a lot of legal issues with what we have created yesterday. But at the same time, we know that we all have the intention of creating a PPI. What I would like to propose is that we use the statutes for a draft that will elect new people for a board or a core team or whatsoever so that they have at least um, some, um, well, moral support and that afterwards people will start sending in amendments so that we can get to something that we all can sign because we need consensus everywhere. Are there any questions about this or remarks? Was I clear? You over there? I don't want other proposals because yeah, we would. Okay. Like the status is, for example, contradicting itself in saying part parties international is not a political or authoritative entity. And then in another section, it, it says the function of the General Assembly are to formulate the general policy of the Pirate Parties International. Policy means that we are not here for okay. making amendments. Anyone else no. with a question? I, I don't want an amendment. What I propose is that we elect the core team to give it some uh, legitimacy so we have seven people yes. who people from pirate parties from all over the world want to take care of the PPI infrastructure. But we scrap this crap. It is. It's crap. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, that's what we were thinking. Uh, I don't want to throw any dirt or something on the core team, even though I feel like I should do that, though. But... Uh, Yes, those were people who were not elected, and we already kind of know each other. So I'm, as well, for voting people who, as based on their presentation and what they already achieved within the national parties or within the core team whatsoever, that they've got actually, you know, the right to decide things, you know, and prepare things as they're supposed to. Uh, because uh, what we are voting yesterday about is definitely not a thing that we got to our hands. I don't know, we already found out that Romania cannot become a party just because of the first sentence of who can be a member of the PPI. And, you know, I signed it before I read it because I believe yesterday we agreed on something, but it's not in there. So I don't want to, I want to start PPI as well, but not under these circumstances when actually even you just said, oh, we don't want to debate about it, but uh, okay, blindly sign something, it's not the thing, you know, we want to do it, you know. Okay, we have an agreement. We have an agreement. We all want to pay PPI, but we want a proper one. Yes. And we want democratic legitimacy. And by not signing this document, we are not creating a problem, because there already is a functioning PPI. What we can do today, on this location, is safeguard their functioning, because some people will step down, and we will need new people. However, one of the persons stepping down, that's me, um, I'm not someone who's going to leave a sinking ship, I'm not going to abandon the ship either, I will propose that I will help on the transition, and I will be neutral in this, just so that there is some, uh, well, safeguard in place. And um, I hope that this provides a certain level of extra trust. Right now I'm the co-president, but I have to be honest, for almost a month I was not able to do much work because I was working on the Dutch campaign.
and the new co-president, um, Jerry, is really working hard, really hard, um, but he lacks the experience that Patrick, for example, had because he was running everything for already, uh, well, for six months or so. Um, it, it's also an experience issue. Yes, exactly. So we're going. We all are responsible. That's the point, and that's why we need consensus on everything. Actually, I totally agree with that. I think we had a core team for the last three years or so. They did work. They asked for help. They, they did not get ask any. help any time they could. They asked for help a thousand million times. Uh, they begged to find a, a re replacement for value. It was very difficult for him to find a replacement. Nobody wanted to do the work. And today, we are here. They, they drafted statutes. Everybody w was invited to help them. Nobody that's who that's is that's now that's really that's against that's it that's is against. And we have... Sorry, you, if you want to say something, come here, please. Um, I have to say... Yesterday, we voted on statutes that were drafted by an international team. If you did not like the statutes, you were allowed to abstain or to vote no. We voted with an absolute majority for the statutes. So, I think we should adopt the statutes, sign it, found properly the Pirate Parties International, and then, on the next conference, we can amend everything we will see. The Germans are still amending their statutes uh, in four, for four years now. The Luxembourgish are also amending. The Swiss, we had eight hours of discussion in Switzerland about statute stuff. In France, same thing. We all know the problems, and I think we should work with the problems and not say, oh, there's a problem, then I want to play with you. So, actually, let's work together to get this thing done and I don't like to abandon a sinking ship so let's hold the ship PPI afloat thank you uh, I would just like to say in rebuttal so you saying uh, th this was hold like, wholly discussed uh, none of this reached me in UK I've heard nothing about this being discussed and and my main objection, my main objection to the statutes is, is they weren't they weren't properly uh, distributed uh, a few weeks before this conference. Now I heard they were finalised last night. Now I have a, a real problem with that because we couldn't read them and, and give them proper scrutiny that they needed to provide proper amendments to make it work. Now what we ne what we need is for further conferences and further meetings is materials to be properly, properly distributed before meetings, and then we can give them proper scrutiny that they need. Four months ago, we started pushing the data. Nobody helped. They followed that. I can I did no that. It's, it's a communication problem on a whole. No, but... but it is, it's, you, can't, you can't say because I didn't hear about, the hear about it from a communication problem that it's my fault. Apparently it's a problem that have been for more than one country because for me it's the same thing. For her it's the same thing. For them it's the same thing. For him it's the I don't know. Oh, stop arguing, stop arguing, stop arguing. We're working towards solutions here and we'll be having a press conference. Right now, we don't have full consensus, and we need full consensus. There's problems here, and we can fix them. What we should decide right now is how we are going to fix those problems while maintaining this full consensus. We all want the same. We all want a PPI. 
this should be what we're talking about here. And we should not throw rotten tomatoes towards each other. I, I am proposing, yes, the following. We all have a draft statute right now. What I want to see is that you guys will all send in your amendments to the new board or core team that we're about to elect, yes. And then no one, but, well, they can, but don't because I might become aggressive. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, people won't be able... To, to say this is not good or whatsoever at the next meeting because this implies that you will have six months or, or maybe even a year for sending in these amendments. Um, can, I, can I just say something? Um, uh, I listened to uh, what he said uh, and uh, about signing the papers but because it's better to repair something that you already signed. And I don't think so because we can still use uh, the, the, the thing we voted for as a draft. It won't make any difference if we sign it or not because we can vote to use it as a draft. It's better to not sign anything that's not good and remake it and make it better and then sign it because um, you can still use it as a draft. Why, why should you uh, sign something that's not good and remake it for a year, then it's good. Why not make it good and then sign it? Because it's everywhere like that, not making it good. Um, so um, what, what uh, we've been talking about, well, uh, some obviously have the idea that the only statutes we can have must be absolutely ideal and must have absolute 100% consensus. And both ideas are bullshit because no statutes are ideal. We uh, spoke here with the parties who exist a long time. We amend our statutes all the time. There are all the time some, prob some problems, minor or major, found in the statutes. We amend them, but that's not, no reason... Uh, for saying, okay, uh, I don't like line 3 in uh, sub point 2 in the statutes, that, uh, and, and that's the reason I won't sign them, I won't join, and uh, before uh, the, the, the statutes are completely to my taste, uh, everything can go to hell. And the second thing is, there, there will, uh, in general, be no consensus. And in general, in democracy, there is no consensus. There, there, is, uh, there will always be different... Uh, there will always be different, different intentions, uh, different views, and uh, it's undemocratic to uh, require that uh, a consensus be reached, because in the end that means that no democratic uh, decision can be made. And uh, so there is no uh, democratic consolidation of pirate parties. And so uh, we have voted on the statutes yesterday, with uh, a large majority, so I just don't understand why this crap is going on, why uh, today in the morning we come in together just to sign them, what, what we voted with absolute majority yesterday evening, and suddenly all this discussion starts all over again. Thank you. Well, I don't agree with the preceding speaker that there was any discussion yesterday. First. <laughs> Second. Actually, that's not how you do it, that you first vote and then you discuss it. But back to the statutes. I've heard here, here, by the first speaker said that nobody held the core team. Well, actually, there was a proposal that was created on March 15. Today is something like, like April 17th or whatever. So there was a month that the core team could do a good job. I don't know why the core team was working on that one day before and that nobody could read it before. It is not how you make legal documents that you don't prepare them and you say that if they are not good, they can always be amended. This is not the way how one should work and I do not work the PPI to work like that. It's something that you say that I won't do good things because I can always change it. This is not how the statutes are drafted. Thank you. I actually want to talk about a general thing here. Um, first of all, this stuff is always happening. Yeah? There are people who do the work and they say, well, uh, no one helped us. And then there are people who, uh, who come by voting and say, well, you didn't tell us. 
And this is the stuff that's going on, and we have to accept that. Actually, um, I, I'm, I just tried uh, thinking in, into the different minds. I just discussed with, uh, with you earlier about, and we, we were really arguing about the stuff. Um, in, a good way. I, but in a good way, yes. In a, in a hard but good way. Yeah, tough love. Yes. Um, what I see here, uh, what, um, that's my opinion now, and you don't have to agree with that, but a lot of people have fears. Uh, I think the Polish and Swedish delegation, they fear about Pirate Party International becoming something they don't want. Is that right? Yes. Um, I fear about never ending this circle of discussion, because if you use it as a draft, next time this whole package will get torn into pieces, put together anew, not have a majority, being used as a draft for the next time, and this whole process is a never-ending cycle. That's what my fear is. Yes. yes, yes. yes. But the thing is, can, can I speak, please uh, conclude this? The thing is, fear is a normal, normal part of life. We all fear about stuff in our private life, in our uh, business life. And the thing is, fear may not be the reason to stop. Because maybe we, we start this, maybe we fail. Maybe in a year ago, every party, party in the world drops out of Pirate Party International. It will be a fail. And then we will be start over. Fail is a part of life, but we can't fail. If, we can't fail if we don't try. So, but we can fail if we see the seeds of failure now. So it's a sure fail. No. no. Yeah. So <laughs> some of us came from very far away from Brazil, from Eastern Europe. You came by car. Turkish people came by bus. Uh, we came by plane. Somebody came by plane in Germany and, and take the bus. Okay, we we are here today. We worked. We must get something done. If we go home with only a draft, I do not agree personally. Even if this draft says we cannot be a member of the pilot party. But I also would not agree about approving it. Uh, Samir had a very reasonable proposal yeah, at the first. We are still discussing, but Samir. his was the only reasonable, reasonable proposal. Let's adopt the draft, nominate a core team who will make things okay. So let's, let's just do it. Yeah. So this is the motion to vote this proposal to take it as a draft only to elect this time a core team and to start from there and uh, please do not say we, are, we will meet in six months because I don't know how it will be winter it will be earthquake <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, yeah. last point on the status discussion it has been said that we voted on it as a large majority but the trouble is that the text in here is different from what we voted on. We clearly didn't want to exclude Romania from membership. Romania are not excluded. There is a work around that. There is a work around that. How is that? That is what was voted on. That is what was actually voted on. Oh. No, I don't want a statute to work around. I yeah. do not. I don't like, before I read it carefully, I can't decide if it's worth signing. So I agree totally that we should use it as a draft. Thank you. I have no interest in these... I, I just want to say I have no interest in adopting this. I, I don't you know, particularly wish to have the statutes adopted or anything like that. I, I just ended up sitting on the table yesterday. That was my involvement. Um, I think some of the online delegates might want to say something. So if anybody who is connected to the internet would like, if they, if they want to say anything, please let us know and we'll, we'll try to push that through. Um, there have been issues particularly raised with that one point. Romania aren't excluded. Yes, I know it's a workaround. Yes, I know it's ugly. That was what was voted on. It is, it's um, unfortunate, but it, it wouldn't ex as it stands, it wouldn't exclude uh, Romania or any other party. Um, just want to say that, um, but mainly yes, online delegates might want to say something. I just wanted to. Sorry, online delegates might want to say something. So. I just, it's important that they get their say because, um, I just want to make that clear. 
I have. I want to come down the atmosphere a bit because uh, what are the real problems we are facing it now? The, uh, will the wrong or semi tidying up statute will stop the pirates uh, doing their job? No. <laughs> will they? Will they? Will they start to stop the, any party to improve? No. Uh, will this uh, start to connect parties? Yes. <laughs> and. We are not making nuclear uh, agreement here. <laughs> it's not. What's the big deal? Uh, we, we have a draft. We have enough. We have e more than enough to start and to connect and to collaborate. We. There is no real problem. We step out of this place and think of it. What is the real problem? There is no real problem. Right now, I'm the only one who has opted for a solution. I'm the only one who has opted for a solution. The only thing I've heard so far is criticism, criticism, and criticism. Where I made one proposal, and I want to vote on this, but do realize that since I'm the only one who wants to have a solution, If you don't take it, everything fails. Okay, with democratic legitimacy, we will appoint an interim core team and we will adopt the statutes as draft statutes. <coughs> Who is against this proposal? This means that, thanks to all of us, today is a failure. Yes. This is a choice. This is a choice. This is a choice for failure. Count of votes, please. Can everybody do the ballot? <laughs> okay, the ballot please, and maybe someone who has solutions instead of more criticism. No ballot? No longer, no longer voting here? Isn't it um, easy for uh, countries who want to sign up, they sign, and the other want to go back home with a draft to ask uh, their country if they want to sign, they sign later. And that's it. The statutes, the statutes made this impossible from a legal perspective. Years from now on, we will all look back and laugh about this moment. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, we're trying to make something happen here, and we should try to aim for the best solution. And the best solution, in my opinion, is anything but what was before. But we, Because what was before was we had some people who wanted to do something for Pirate Parties International, and they had no whatever democratic legitimation ever. They tried to set up something, they tried to like uh, get, get in all aspects of what could be wrong for the international organization. And now, today, we have a, de a delegate session where everyone can make a vote, and we also agreed on something that we could make a status. So, what would be really good is if we had an adoption in whatever form ever of those statutes, because then we have at least some safeguards in there. There won't be another General Assembly where we have anything like the white night before because it says it should be a week before. That's already a safeguard. It's also a safeguard that we say the people are elected by the General Assembly and not by someone else. 
please think of that. Please think that we should really try to introduce the safeguards that have not been introduced before, that have just been tried to make sure, but we didn't could, we just tried. And you have, can make this happen, please make it happen. I just jump line to uh, bring you a message from Marco from Italy. And he asked to read out loud, I don't find it very democratic to discard a document that we voted in 10 hours yesterday just because there are articles that one don't like. If anyone wants amendments, they can propose them at the next General Assembly. Okay, I'm uh, not going to bring any more arguments because uh, I think that it uh, should, could deteriorate deter deter into a regu regular flame war. I just want to say, um, as uh, Samir asked for uh, alternative proposals to this, oh. to this uh, draft, uh, draft statutes, interim core team, and so on solution, I have an alternative proposal. I d don't see a problem with the situation that is. The statutes were voted with absolute majority yesterday. They are in place. There are countries who are willing to sign them. Those are the founding members of the PPI. And that's it. The PPI is properly founded. And uh, if someone has a problem with that, then they are not founding members of PPI. They can explain it uh, at home to their co-pirates why that is the case and are very welcome at the next conference of the PPI to, to apply and of course be accepted. But I don't see the need to make any uh, uh, in interim whatever. Um, please, guys, uh, one moment please, one moment please. We're talking about statutes again. Um, I have another question. No, just let me finish this. It's, 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 after, it's continuing. It's, it's just uh, one thing that you probably should know, that if we adopt his position, then only the, only the, part, the party signing will, have, uh, will be able to vote for the board, because they are the founding members. Just to be clear. Okay. Um, I would like to do this, what he says... However, I want to have a gentleman's agreement here saying that the countries who do, not, who do not sign do have a say in who we appoint. Um, and this comes to my point. Um, we need to guard for continuity. If we do not appoint a new board, we don't only lose <laughs> statutes and productivity and things like that from yesterday, but we risk continuity of PPI. Therefore, I would like to ask from all of you to at least appoint a new core team and then afterwards we'll see what we do. Is there anyone against this? Yes, yes. Do you have a better solution? Yes, I have proposed my solution already. And you just repeat your, your own... We, yeah. we are debating the same thing over and over again. Those parties signing the founding documents yes. are founding members founding the PPI. I think there are parties here that still want to found PPI. All those who don't want to found PPI with those statutes are free to not join. Thank you. Could I carry on, please? This is a talk between civilized persons. Don't get that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, guys. Whoa. <laughs> Getting silly now. So, let's, let's come back to the statutes and then close it down, yeah. definitely. We know those things are far from perfect right now. At least we have a structure. We have made some advances on it and now we can within that structure which isn't completely okay but 
we can raise uh, a general assembly, we have a quorum, we can come back on it later. I mean with that, if we have now a couple of countries, even countries which are not very happy, we can see each other within three months. If we get the quorum, if I understood them well, if we have a quorum, if we have a number of countries raising a new discussion, we can meet again within now and three months and talk again about everything which is not really okay. Points or amendments can be raised and we can do it over. But now, now, right now, we need a structure. We need to advance. And so I do admit, uh, at, at a, a legal level, document has to be checked. Uh, wording has to be corrected. Everything has to be done. But I have the feeling that I, I saw very interesting proposals coming up and I do understand that there are I, I too have issues with the document at this very time. So, But now we get to we, we have to get on board of it. We have to continue. So my proposal is please get on board and and well, afterwards we can communicate, check in between others. We can go for this quorum, raise an extraordinary, uh, uh, extraordinary general assembly, see each other within, now in three months, and that leaves all of us the time to work on the document and come back with proposals and filter it out online. We can exchange, we have our personal data now, and then we go, we move forward. So don't think about this document right now as being something that will be absolute universal law for always and for all times. Please try to think in, in, in some evolutionary way. We will make this evolve in time. We can see each other if we all want to together. We can see each other between now and three months if we have to. We meet again, we organize it better. I think we all recognize now that there were a lot of organizational issues. Nobody saw the document, where was the access, and so on. We have to recognize that too. So now, please forget that fact. Uh, we now know each other. We can move forward on it. We can work and rework on it. I don't see any personal risk. We did not commit on one single euro cent over here. We do, did not give any, let's say, political or absolute powers to this, the PPI as such. So we can now rework the document. We can amend it and we can meet again within now and a couple of weeks if we want to. We have the system. We have this quorum. We can do whatever we want now. But I would invite all of you now to cut down this discussion, stop arguing, and move along. So I would also invite all the parties which are now not very happy to sign it, to be on board, and to have the possibility to... No, yeah. Okay, but so stop, stop, stop discussing. So decide now for yourself if you sign it or not. Uh, I think we now have to move forward. We have a press conference within a couple of times. And afterwards, we can just exchange and eventually already plan an extraordinary general assembly. And we will rework everything. That's a proposal. I strongly invite you to, 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 to accept it and to go that way. And I'm not talking as a PPI member. Okay, so that's a, there's something... Okay, um, I'm still, I think everyone uh, knows already if they are going to sign or not. I don't think anyone is going to change if we continue to discuss. Uh, though uh, I'm saying I'm not going to sign any paper that everyone don't feel is okay. Uh, and right now it's, uh, it's a lot of people inside here that don't feel that completely opposed uh, some things that are in the document and I can't I don't feel comfortable signing uh, a thing uh, that don't people don't feel even is okay if it's okay we can change it so it be become better but this is some things in this is not even okay for me and for some other in this room um, but uh, I I think as uh, Samir um, 
that we uh, because I want to create PP International, but I won't sign those documents. I'm sorry, but I won't. But I really, really want to create it. I really want to uh, make it good that everyone makes it. So Sweden will not sign. Thank you. And, um, I would like only say one sentence. It looks like for me that we are exchanging good, proper statute, properly written, uh, versus successful press conference. It is wrong. It is yeah. terribly wrong because we cut all the time just to make everybody were thinking about successful press conference, not proper documents and properly finding. There is a problem. It is successful. What? 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 It is what? What? It is what? Successful. what? We haven't press conference uh, yet, yes? I have to say only one more thing. Nothing you will sign today will affect your national party. So, everybody who now wants to sign the foundation documents is free to do it on the list we have here in front. And if you don't want, there's no point to discuss it any further. It's a choice. It's a binary choice. Sign or not sign. I would, I would like to... Um, um, <clears throat> I would like to state something which I really hope everybody here agrees on, that no pirate party should be kept out of this process, even if they cannot sign today. And I, I really hope that everybody who gets elected here agree, agrees on this. I would like the people who candidates to really say if that they want all the pirate parties to be included in this process, in particular with the process about how the statutes can become better. Thank you. We're going to quit this discussion. Um, sorry? We have already done so. Yeah. Yes. Those who, want to sign Those who want to sign have signed. Or will sign now. Um, people are even already leaving. This is obviously not what we want. Um, we all have the intention for a big PPI with consensus, etc., etc. We will work towards this. And I hope that there won't be any hostilities around here any longer. And that will start being productive and start voting people for running PPI. Good. The list of candidates. If there's anything wrong, if, if you're on that and you should be on that, let me know. If you aren't on that and should be on it, let me know. Come and sort me that. It can be changed for about a couple of minutes. Um, Are there any candidates around that who want to present themselves? If, if, uh, if I can just talk about those. Okay. So the idea is that we start with uh, the election of the co-chairmen, then we'll proceed with the treasurer and uh, the chief administrative officer, and finally uh, elect the three uh, board members. So uh, this is going to happen according to a voting procedure that will be explained by Will. And I think um, if, you're, if you're ready to explain it now, so everybody... Um, the, the, the issue, I mean, we could use single transferable voting, but I'm not sure if that would be the most efficient and sensible and democratic way to do it. So obviously we can discuss this here. What I would suggest is using preferential voting, whereby the candidates come up, they give their speech, and then each delegate writes down on a piece of paper the candidates in their order of preference, i.e. which candidate they would most want to be elected and down to the one that they would want to be least. We then combine these, take them up, add them all together, so we give the most, so the most number of points to the, pers the person who's at the top of each seat, something like 
how the Eurovision elections work, Eurovision votings work, which I know is not the greatest example of democracy, but it's a good example of how the system works. We then add them all up, and then whoever gets the most points gets the highest position. Okay, that's ST, is it? Okay, sorry for that. That's what I suggest. Okay, it's not ST. It's, it's something. Whatever it is, it, the name doesn't matter. And then, so we give, so whoever gets the most points gets their first preferred choice, and then the next person gets the highest of their preferred choices that are available, and so we work down. Technically, we could end up with some positions not being filled, but I really hope that doesn't happen. If it does happen, we'll, yeah? Um, a, 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 a chairman will be elected because a ch the chairman is the first preferred option and there are three people standing for chairman so even if one of the four even so even if two of them if three of them are the last, bottom three delegates one of them I think one round is the best idea because Okay, if, if, if somebody has a better idea for voting, I'm fine with that. This is just what I, I, I came up with. If we go to STV, it will be not as efficient, so we will have So we will really have to do it fast. We have the software to count the votes, so that would not be the issue. And let's get started. I think uh, I propose the motion uh, to vote by STV for the positions of the board. Yes. Um, uh, in terms of STV as well, I've got all the software set up on my computer. Uh, I did it while we were on a break. Uh, so everything's done. It will be quicker to do it uh, than counting the votes by hand because I just need to input them in the computer. Uh, if the vote's disputed, so it will take online. longer. Though. So you get the online delegates. Oh, it's, yeah. it's important not to forget the online delegates. They will be able to vote as well. Yeah. There's a couple of other points. What were they? Um, is anybody going to oppose this method of voting and this system of voting? Okay, good. So we will use that. Um, the other thing to note is technically we need to elect, sorry, you need to elect the um, lay auditors, the three lay auditors that are in the statutes. We've got one candidate who's come forward to volunteer for that. If anybody else would like to volunteer for those positions, we will deal with that once we've done the board. These are the people... The, the, no, the lay auditors are the people who look into the PPI accounts once a year. They're, they have to be appointed by the General Assembly. They're in the statutes. This, this, but this will wait until we, after we've done the board. But if anybody else would be interested in standing for that, let me know, and, and we will do that afterwards. Okay. Oh, one quick point. From Just... Uh, for the candidates, uh, we would like to have a short introduction just very quickly and then uh, probably the, uh, the better idea to answer questions so people can uh, ask you questions about uh, your ideas. N one after the other, of course. You just, if there's someone uh, having a cash question, you uh, ask. You ask. Um, um, I, I, I will, if you want, I, if there aren't any objections, I'm happy to moderate the discussion because I'm not a candidate. Um, <laughs> any objections to me moderating the discussion? I'll spend it. Okay. Um, in that case, I, and, uh, would there be any objections if we simply move through it in the order that they are there? If, if, if we ask the candidates to come up and to say a few words for a couple of minutes? Okay. If the first candidate would like to come up, please. Okay, I'm Alexander from Serbia, and uh, I like to learn from mistakes. And uh, I've got a lot of mistakes in my country to learn of. And uh, in thinking of pirate movement and, uh, and the major simple and uh, important things we have to do is to uh, think about uh, even formulation of our speeches and approaching to the problem. Because... Uh, I don't like uh, 
destruction. I don't like uh, uh, cutting the continuity and the thinking process. I I would like to point. Uh, I would like to apply for ideology leader of uh, Paripati International because. I think that uh, there is a, a lot of job to do with uh, fine-tuning of our approach to the media and to the problem. Because uh, if we, if we uh, say destroy the patent law or destroy anything, it implies something bad. And I, would like, uh, uh, I would like to, in any aspect of uh, our actions, to reflect uh, upgrading and thinking and um, uh, the whole process of cultural continuity. Uh, that's the, that's the, uh, maybe it's uh, my country where I'm coming from because uh, I, I have a feeling that I live in a short period of time. Uh, when I walk to the Brussels or some other city in Europe, I see the time span of several hundred years. There's a building process and it is strong, it, ref it reflects the uh, continuity, and uh, it, it, is, uh, it is a value. And uh, we, we suffered uh, the bombing and stuff, uh, so there's a distraction that bothers me. When we talk about any changing in the current system, when we change the system, uh, we, we should better use the word uh, hack the system, not, not distraction, not not anything connected with it, but uh, not to make it uh, uh, like a personal note or something uh, I have problems with. Um, I just want to, um, to let you know that I'm willing to uh, work with all other guys on, the, on a fine tuning on every uh, our actions internationally, locally, to adopt everything that is connected to the ideology and to the core values of the pirates. So everyone is free to talk with me about uh, the more detailed ideas and everything uh, you want to know from me. That, that's all. Thanks. Uh, this would be uh, uh, this position I'm applying. It's uh, mandatory or something? Uh, it's not. It's not something that's laid yes. out in the statutes, but it yeah. could be appointed by the board. Yeah. Thanks. Um, are there any quick questions for him? No, okay, um, just a quick change. Uh, Travis McCrea, who's on here, is currently um, a remote candidate, but he needs to leave very shortly. Would there be any issues if we move to him now? He gets get him to give his speech, and then he can quickly answer any questions there are. Um, he, he's online right now, so... Um, I think he... There's a document somewhere that he, he's uh, given. Where is it? Uh, I better check it's the right thing. Right, um, I'm just going to read this out. Trevor McCrea, board candidate for PPI. I have been teased by the administ administrator of the United States Pirate Party because every time we discuss something, I ask, maybe we would like to talk to Canada and Mexico and see if they want to help. I've also put together the foundations of what now is the North American Pirate Party Network, an IRC network of the pirate parties in Canada, the US and Mexico. I am currently the promotions officer of the United States Pirate Party and have been very active in my time in my position. I have yet to let an email to go to my, to my office go without response within 12 hours. I have provided my phone number for contact and have flown to three different locations from one ocean to the other ocean in the United States to make sure that I had a real-life, offline connection with my fellow party members. The reason I am not here right now to give this speech is because I am flying down to meet up with two or three of our other officers in the United States Pirate Party so we can put the final signatures on an important document for our party. I am willing to fly out to the EU. I am willing to work night and day to help the party. I love to work internationally and make sure that everyone can get an equal voice. I now would love to have a board position on the PPI. That way, not only can I represent the United States, not only can I represent Canada, who was the one who asked me to take this position, and not only can I represent Mexico, in whom I have grown close over the past few weeks, but so I can represent the interests of the entire party. Okay. Are there any questions for, for him? He, he's uh, standing for... Um, where is he? For board member. Just an ordinary board member.
Um, any other questions? Which of the different parties that you represent is He represents <laughs> the one that's based out of pirate-party.us. Uh, which is the one that the main one that has been recognised by the previous core team. It's it's the one that has got further. I would say I, I don't want to. I, I don't. Want, I don't want to wish to endorse any one party over the other. While being, it's he's he's the one that's pirate-party.us. Okay, um, is Andrea here from Austria? Hmm? Um, with who? The, uh, the US. Yes, he's, he's available. So he is available to answer questions. Okay, a question for uh, Travis. What made him join the Pirate Party? Um, uh, it, may, it may take a few moments for him to get back to us. Uh, sorry about this. Is, is again is Andrea here from Austria? This was uh, emailed last night or, or things. Oh, okay. Is she online? <laughs> Following online? <laughs> uh, apparently, the American Pirate Party, which was the other main um, U.S. Pirate Party has collapsed, according to him. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether it's a completely unbiased opinion, but uh, oh, according to, according to their founder. It's, it's a dodgy connection here with the microphone. Oh, okay. Okay, well, um, I don't think he's, he's able to answer this. So, I think we should probably... Oh, oh, he joined the party because he, lo he loves the Pirate Party and is all about platforms and he is young and idealistic, apparently. Okay, so if we can then move on. If Andrew isn't here, uh, let's move on to Andrew Norton, who some of you may know. Um, he doesn't seem to be online or around either and hasn't submitted anything to read out. Um, he, as you, some of you may know, was uh, effectively ran PPI for about a year or so um, before the core team came along. Uh, he also helped found the current US Pirate Party. Uh, but there isn't much else we can do about him. So if we now move on to Bulgarian candidate, if he's here, can yep, do you want to come up then and give a speech if you use that microphone? Um, you can if you want. This is broken. You'll be better off using that one. Hello. I will need uh, help from my computer. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Bogomil, uh, but... Uh, we once call me Bogo. I'm applying for a strange position, uh, community and operations officer, or maybe media and grassroots officer. Uh, I will read uh, some uh, things. Uh, since we are organization uh, with uh, main aims to coordinate, to unite, to make research, to raise awareness and to provide communications, as we agreed yesterday, and I think uh, we need someone who is... Uh, who is uh, able to define processes, to have good organizational skills, and uh, to be uh, something like a proxy uh, between uh, PPI and the community, and to work uh, like um, uh, to define processes inside the community. Because we have uh, to unify the pirate, the, the pirate movement and to strengthen the community, to find a way for easy communications, both inside in the core team and other parts of PPI, and to organize and coordinate global campaigns and event worldwide. Those are from our statuses that I'm reading. And uh, okay, let me uh, 
tell you more about you, about me, sorry. Uh, well, I'm 35 years old. I have a son, two years old. I'm working on uh, digital rights issues from 2004, uh, starting from uh, campaigns from um, about uh, software patents, and then uh, data retention directives, uh, telecom package, and uh, personal name records, the PNR data, and uh, act of course. And uh, I run for the uh, previous European elections in 2009 for the Green Party in Bulgaria, the Greens. And uh, I think I can um, be able to help uh, the the pirate movement uh, because um, I can communicate in several languages and I love to resolve conflicts and that will be my quest to resolve the current situation uh, if um, of course I receive your vote and I can be good in organizing events and uh, organizing um, different uh, type of uh, communication channels, for example, and procedures, how to work with uh, different parties or uh, how to um, vote from using the Internet or something like that. Uh, okay, if I... Yeah, just a second. Yeah, okay. If I can be a mashup, uh, uh, my part will be... Uh, one part will be at a community management. The other part will be programming because I'm... A programmer and uh, the, the, the third thing will be um, something like uh, defining processes and workflows and uh, working with them. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? No? How do, you, how do you think you'll be able to um, reach a compromise within all the, other, all the parties? Yeah, that's an interesting issue. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, the first thing I uh, learned ever is to shut up my mouth and start listening. <laughs> and that's the, the approach. And there is always compromise. And I think we all together, we can find it. And, of course, uh, I'm able to help, not to resolve the conflict. But I think we, if we create a, uh, a mechanism for that, and I will... Uh, work on that. We can help. We can uh, resolve the, the problem together. Uh, ASAP. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Any other questions? Come on. No, I'm not a chairman. I'm a member of national board or co council. Council. Uh, yes, but uh, I think I will be uh, use uh, more of the time to uh, contribute to uh, PPI. That's that's for sure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any question? <coughs> yeah. Thank you. I forgot that. Yes, I'm a part of the Mozilla community since 2004, and I'm working as a community volunteer too. Are you yep. going to continue to tweet? To, to what? To tweet. Tweet. You tweet all these Oh, tweet! Of course. That's, that's the part of community management. Tweet <laughs> using the, the, the social networks and so, so on. That's because I don't know. What position I I, I, I suppose to to uh, make the candidacy is the social and network uh, network and uh, grassroots or uh, something like uh, social community operations something like that. Thank you. Um, is, is Boris from Russia here? Uh, no. Okay. No, no, good. Let's move on. Um, okay, hi, I'm uh, Boris. Yes, I'm uh, from both the German and Russian Pirate Parties. I'm running for um, co-chairman and if that doesn't play out for a, board, a generic board member of the new PPI board. 
Um, I have been, especially in the last several months when the Russian Pirate Party became most active, uh, been doing a lot of like international coordination, bringing together people from, from the Russian Pirate Party with someone in, in Germany who could uh, help or, or like to exchange, um, exchange ideas. And I think that that is uh, the core responsibility of the PPI to promote, to enhance such things. And um, I think that I can uh, do it uh, pretty well to coordinate this internal uh, exchange of, of knowledge, of ideas, um, of best practices, uh, or on the other hand, of, of materials like every party designs its own flyers, banners, and then flags. And we can profit greatly uh, and uh, spare a lot of work, which has, could be then spent on something more productive if those uh, designs, layouts are transferred internationally. Um, I also work, uh, my job as a tra translator between German, English, and Russian, so I have done uh, quite a lot of translation for pirate related topics, uh, and I can continue uh, to do so and also organize the translation process because I like, uh, have an idea how it is organized. Uh, because translation is, of course, for an international movement, um, it's extremely important. We have seen uh, when we were at the uh, European Parliament that um, a great part of their budget go goes to, to providing for, for um, uh, translations uh, during, during the meetings and of the documents and so on. And I think that is also a very important point for the um, and a very, very important uh, task of the PPI. And um, of course, especially as, um, as a co-chairman with, with a more, more general set of responsibilities, I think that it is uh, necessary to start as soon as possible with preparing the next General Assembly, uh, to preparing those statute amendments, which have caused some discrepancies yesterday and today, uh, so that uh, I don't have the goal that everybody walks away 100% satisfied, because I believe that's not possible, but uh, non that's not a reason not to try to, to make things better, uh, and uh, not, not to try that everybody can be as, as content as, as satisfied with uh, being an international pirate as possible. Thanks. Are there any questions? Oh, clearly you covered everything. Uh, Uh, yes. Uh, well, I'm a member of the founding committee, but it's like like a founding committee. I mean, everybody in the Russian party, we are, we are not uh, like in Germany, 12,000 people. <laughs> we are about somewhat, somewhat fewer, so everybody who is active has to do something. But uh, actually, I think that... Uh, Tasks like translation, that's, it's uh, helpful if, if, uh, for, for my PPI activity rather than hindering on time consuming. Okay. Um, uh, Enrique from Chile doesn't seem to be online either and hasn't provided anything other than the details that are already on the wiki. Um, I, I would suggest that anybody particularly interested in, in the candidates who haven't been able to say anything today do try and have a look at the wiki before you vote if that you think that might affect them. I, I can bring it up here later. Um, okay, so moving on, is Gregory is here somewhere? Yes. Yeah. Well, since I missed the introduction um, round today morning, good morning, everyone. Um, I was, <laughs> I was um, busy with uh, creating the final um, statutes document. So my name is Gregory Engels. I'm from Germany. Originally, I was born in former Soviet Union in Russia in Moscow, and I live in Germany for 20 years. I'm a German citizenship uh, citizen, and I'm not a member of any board in um, the Pirate Party of Germany, but I am appointed international coordinator uh, for the Pirate Party of Germany, and as part of this task, I came to PPI to um, coordinate and to bring back what is from the PPI to know to get known back to the Pirate Party in Germany and we had some um, moving discussions <laughs> out of that all because of what the direction PPI should mo should move and uh, actually what we are expecting from the PPI and what we expect to be um, from this international umbrella organization 
and um, we had some out of international stuff this discussion like the people were drafting counter proposals saying we are not agreed what they're doing whatever we want to have something very different and so I've been asked to step in and um, take the moderation of the group and try to get I everyone to get can you as manager announcement go ahead. Um, I have a good news um, the current situation is we have a group of people signing the statutes and we have a group of people not signing the statutes. However, the group of people downstairs who is not going to sign is currently writing a declaration of common understanding. You will be able to look into this. So, uh, basically, they will support us. Um, officially, on paper, with a signature. This is very good, because we, we are one group. We are the pirate movement. We cannot split up and break up. Yes? Um, however, it would be sensible if in return for that declaration of common understanding, we allow those parties who do not sign to have a say in electing the new board or core team. Well, I have a proposal here. Um, please <laughs> vote on this, but do realize that if you vote no, that you are splitting up the pirate movement. And that's exactly the opposite of what we want here. I'm not feeling like should continue right from this point because there's something in the room right now which is obviously need to be talked about to some degree uh, to be settled and closed. So I stop here and, and transfer back to you. Look, several um, parts have signed up remotely for the statutes as they currently are. Okay, so if we move on now. Oh, wait. Are we, are we moving on? So we go to this uh, declaration of whatever it was. Yeah. Common uh, understanding. Yeah. I, I trust. Trust. Okay. Uh, Samir? Uh, I, could you people stop uh, talking in groups? Because I want. To, uh, since Samir is the only one getting the, the, the communication done now, because they're sitting downstairs and we're sitting here, so you have to listen to what I have to say is now. Um, but, uh, the, uh, the thing I actually don't understand is the. They do want to vote for the for the core team members, do they? Yes. They, the, so um, the thing is, they they can sign, and if their party doesn't ratify uh, the thing, uh, the whole thing, then they are they are good. I don't understand what their problem is. No. Every party has a different ratification process. Keep this in mind, please. Okay. Uh, they, so we, we decided they can stay away. Actually, the point is, we all want a PPI. The, um, those I downstairs not signing does not mean they, that they don't want the PPI. Everyone here is, with, is here with a common goal. They want the PPI to be here. They want this. And everyone wants the consensus here. They are providing a solution here so that we can keep group cohesion. In terms of voting for candidates, though, it is worth noting that we have already heard from nearly half the candidates and they weren't present for that which may prejudice the voting therefore it could be considered unfair for them to then turn up now and hear the rest of the candidates and then vote the key Just question the here is point. why are we here I say we are here for unity for the entire movement if we pick we don't pick this option we are doing the exact opposite we are separating parties from each other. If we choose to separate parties from each other, we are doing the exact opposite thing of what we are here for. Actually, we are not choosing to separate them. The, the thing here is, they can sign, they can vote, and then go home 
and tell the National Board, the National Congress, whoever is responsible to not ratify. It's like the Kyoto Protocol. You sign it, you don't ratify it. <laughs> but you voted for the board. So they can, I propose to them, come here, sign, and then if you don't like the statutes and don't want to have uh, the amendments in three months' time via online voting or something like that, then go home and tell everybody, do not ratify it. Okay. And sign to vote. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to put a time limit on this topic because we've obviously gone way up on the candidates and we have a limited time to get through the rest of the candidates. So uh, I would I'm say four minutes for any further discussion okay. on this topic. I have a um, constructive proposal. So uh, what if now this group, this is here, elects, uh, out of these people, elects a board without the votes of the people downstairs, but that we agree on... Uh, having advisors that we let them appoint three, uh, two or three people out of their group that will uh, act as uh, act as interim between the core team as it is elected here and these parties that uh, are currently downstairs. So they have uh, we don't have to these uh, issues that because they're not signing they couldn't be uh, they, they don't have an official. Uh, board uh, position, but the core team, it's in the status, the core team can appoint, uh, or they just can have the, the motion as the core team to, uh, to appoint advisors, and they could propose, they could interact, and they could try to uh, resolve the issue with these three people acting as uh, the, the mediators, or even though they are not uh, independent, but so they could have, they could take part in the uh, discussion. It's a proposal that I um, communicated to Zamir and he's going downstairs and trying to see whether this is possible because it is not possible that we can accept the proposal as it is now because if they don't sign they, don't, they are not allowed to vote and that's I don't think there's even point in discussing this. Okay, so everybody wants to continue with candidates, yes? yes. So people who got uh, out, they took their toys and left, yes? yes. yes. This is very undemocratic. <laughs> it's, it's, so you, you are clinging to a document instead of respecting the principles. This is not about signing a document. Uh, so let's continue with the proceedings to sign this document, but remember there is a common declaration that could be signed okay. and unite the pirate movement. Okay. Um, I have informed the people downstairs. There is now a counter proposal. They will show you the, their declaration soon. Um, the only thing that they want is that everyone here acknowledges their right to help on improving in the future. We need. The, basically, they're saying, "Keep us in the boat." <laughs> Yes? yes? Okay. Yes. Everyone pro this? Yes. Anyone against this? Good. Then soon you will have the declaration and we can do the press release. Okay, now can we get back to the candidates? Is, is Jakob here from Czech? Oh, um, yes, please. Do, do, we, do we have... Okay, sorry, Gregory wasn't finished. Come back. Well, Harry, sorry. Uh, apologies for the interruptions. No problem. Well, thank you. So I'm, I'm going to try to speed up a little bit. Okay. Uh, guys, please, if you, if you need to have a conversation, I really, please, can you, can you move outside or something? I, I'm really, like, you know, it's, I, I feel it's unfair. Okay. No, like, <laughs> no, saying, I just tried to say something. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Um, so let's uh, rethink all together what I said. So, as I said, um, well, I'm 33 years old. I'm started at a different point now. Um, I'm married. I have uh, two children. I have a Ravner uh, company. 
uh, in IT business and consulting. So I'm a project leader, a project manager on um, Lotus Technology Basic and IBM Business Partner, one of the top um, most recognized um, experts in the world over the group of about 200 experts um, on Lotus Technologies. Um, this is beside our part, this might be my background, uh, background, but as of that, I travel a lot of internationally to conventions, to whatever, um, England, Norway, um, America a lot. I'm visiting America like two or three times a year, so actually that, um, I'm very interested in what's going on there, on there but as the cities I've visited so far, there was no pirates activities there um, yet, so no Las Vegas, and no, <laughs> no Orlando yet, but I'm, I read uh, something in Miami going on, so I will visit them in the next winter and <laughs> see what, how it goes. Um, yes, um, as an, I'm, I'm not uh, elected to, anyone, uh, to any, any function uh, in the side of our, our party. We're just appointed to be an international coordinator, and I love this. Um, a bit of created the job on, as it goes, what, what's it about to do, and a bit like been pressed into leading the status task force. I'm not a lawyer, by the way, or something, so I just um, tried to moderate an open discussion and create it and invite every party there is to be part of this team, and I went to all the Facebook pages I could find and all the forums I could find in every strange language there is, and uh, with help with whatever translation tools I got, and um, created a presentation, put it in a slide share, it had 1,250 uh, views or something, pointing to this task, task force. I got 50 people from 25 countries working together for um, about like 12 weeks, uh, drafting the discussion, whatever, and then say, okay, now I'll create a structure for writing it. Now you, expert, go, write. And my family demanded to I take a vacation, so I went to a cruise. And then I back, come back and nothing, not, not much were done. <laughs> Unfortunately, I a bit surprisingly, um, maybe not. But um, so this was. I'm really apologize for the way the status been actually communicated in the f in beforehand the conference. That was that late. Um, it took maybe my my family is to blame, or my am to blame them to me for going to vacation and um, taking a break for ten days. Otherwise, it would be ready in time. So, but um, things sometimes things happen unexpectedly. Um, I really love the communication international and try to help other um, parties to get in touch and to help them to, to get whatever issues to solve them. So I'm working mostly also with the um, so far in part my international coordinator role with the Pirate Party of Russia or something and some Pirate Party of Kazakhstan actually helped them I think a bit a lot. They are actually a bit um, I don't know, fans of me <laughs> I support now my candidature um, on the on the website for about a week now. I'm very honored of that. And so, um, because I'm, I'm also, as a native of uh, Russia originally, I speak Russian and I speak German, I speak English, um, I think. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. And I'm quite a wide. I'm, I'm feeling at home at a, in the whole world. So it been used to call it cosmopolite. Um, because now, if I take it to my a more distant family, like for my grandparents, we have um, all four um, major uh, or three major uh, religions uh, there. There's the Jews, there's the uh, Christian Orthodox, there's the Muslims. It's everything mixed up in me. And so I'm, I'm really proud of it, actually, to have um, inviting everybody. I feel at home like everywhere. And so this is uh, why I'm candidating to the board and to exactly to be a co-chairman. Uh, it's because I'm really have strong feeling about for the pirate movement of being in an international uh, movement actually is that what made me sign up as a pirate in the first place um, and I would like to continue this the development of international <coughs> process and really I like to have a focus of supporting new emerging um, countries uh, new emerging pirate, uh, pirate parties in, in, in some countries especially in the, in, the, in, the, in the regions we are not strong yet and they're a really major issue so, for example, like the Kazakhstan to put on, it's the same, it's a, it's a, it's a, may not know you, some of them, Kazakhstan, where it is. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I have to start, but it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a pirate party in a, in a state where only one party exists officially, you know, so this is really like dangerous stuff to do for them. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited that people are taking that and, and providing uh, our ideas to the world. So, um, I have to stop now. I've, and so, and so, yeah, I'm a politician. I could talk and talk and talk. So, any questions, please? Okay. No questions? Good. Okay, can we move quickly on?
Okay. Um, actually, I think uh, something that people want to know, but since you are the coordinator, the professional coordinator of oh, yeah. Germany, you might, you might actually tell us what, what will happen after you get elected. What will happen with the international coordinator till I get elected? Um, so I'm one of the two international coordinators which are actively um, doing work in, inside of the German Pirate Party. And we have an, uh, um, the party assembly coming up in four weeks. And we have set up a new international um, team for supporting the international um, delegates we will have um, at the party assembly. And there are some new people joining the international coordinating team right now. So I hope that it will be a bit less work. And, but basically, I will continue to do the same work I'm doing now for the Pirate Party of Germany will continue on the international level and just to keep feeding back the resources to everywhere and just to have to copy-paste them and put them to the German mailing list again. So that is actually not really um, an overload of, of work. So I have you. Yes, please. Yes, sure. I was a task leader of this task force. Actually, I had no opinions in there. No, so. Yeah, I just moderated the discussion, actually, and, and wrote this, the results up. Okay. Yeah. okay, any other questions? Okay, can we have the next candidate who is in the corner? Unless Thank you. Is, is, um, could you come forward then, please? Okay. Ahoy, everybody. Ahoy. I start with a Czech greeting. And I just signed the, the status with the reservation of ratification, of course, as a pursuant to our statutes. So first, thank you. <laughs> first, let me introduce myself. My name is Jakub Michalek. I am from the Czech Pirate Party. I am the International Relations Executive, and I created Piratopedia for our party. I'm 21 years old. I'm in the, in the second grade of Charles University, Faculty of Math and uh, Math and Physics, studying Physics, and Faculty of Law, <coughs> studying Legal Science. So, first, I would like to recognize all the merits of people who organize this conference, and for the people who survived yesterday. That was a great deal, and you all deserve recognition for that. And now, what, and what can I offer you as a candidate? Well, after yesterday, I have plenty of things that I think I would be able to offer you to improve, to change. Our issues as Czech Pirate Party are transparency, and democracy. Well, as an example of transparency, I would say that the procedure before the statute was adopted, that it was not displayed before for, s for several weeks, was not transparent, and I strongly disagree with that. that there was no proposal that would be concrete, and there would only be discussions about things that need to be discussed. Second, the democracy issue. I would like to say very clearly that what happened yesterday is not democracy. Around 200 procedural votes without any debate is just not democracy and it leads only to the fact that we accept statutes that has mistakes because the important things were not even discussed because there was no discussion. I strongly oppose that. Also, with what happened yesterday, we lost the valuable time that we could use for social events, for meeting each other, and the time together. And I think that is the, one of the main goals of PPI, not procedural votes. Forty delegates traveled here thousands of kilometers just to go through the non-sensual procedure that took place yesterday. And that would be shame even for the smallest regional organization of the Czech Pirate Party 
And I think that unfortunately now it is shame for the core team and for the statute task force. Having a t-shirt does not make you pirate. Enthusiasm is a cool thing, but it's surely not enough. If PPI wants to be helpful to the national pirate parties, we have to start doing things in a different, more professional way. And now, how I can help? I have plenty of experience. First, I created, I created the status, the status of the Czech Pirate Party and all the regulations that we have and that work, so I can use that experience for the benefit of the PPI. Also, I created the Piratopedia with the help of many other members and not even members of the Czech Pirate Party, just people who were interested in the pirate topics and did not want to join. And this is a great resource. We translated all the, Swe the Swedish program, the German program for, for the Czech audience so it can compare how the pirate topics are reflected in different programs. When I get elected, first, I will change the ineffective IRC chat to a forum. I have no time to spend four hours every Monday in an in a IRC chat that I cannot even participate in when I get muted. Second, I will give legal advice from my experience on the pirate issues as I devote my study of legal science to so-called intellectual property or rather against that. So I will think I can be very helpful, especially related to the European issues, to the directives and stuff that is being prepared. And third, I will make sure that the web page improves, does not lag like five seconds, so it loads quickly, and there is comprehensive paratopedia with all the information in all the languages that the, that the people participate from. It is important to realize that one is elected to such position not to gain power among the others, but to help them. And I think that I will be a good candidate for that. Thank you. Um, uh, I would like to add a quick note. Um, first of all, thank you. It was a very good speech. There already is a PPI wiki. However, no one is participating. I think that there's uh, well, there was oh, more stuff. Back to the 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 but, but this is this no. Okay. Um, it would be nice if people write these things down. Uh, no. I have the microphone. Are there any, are there any questions? Questions, please. Any questions? Um, okay, right. Uh, we've just lost the list. Right, okay. The next candidate, which is Jerry. So, hello everybody. My name is Jerry Weyer. I'm a PPI co-president. Well, I was the old PPI co-president for two months now after uh, P Patrick Mesh has left. And I'm current vice president of the Luxembourgish Pirate Party. I am a student in uh, European law. So, uh, to answer your question, uh, uh, the first time. Uh, as a student, I have uh, a lot of spare time, so I can uh, split up the PPI issues and uh, the Luxembourg uh, Pirate Party issues quite well and distribute them um, uh, to uh, get everything done that should have been done, or that should be done. Uh, now, um, concerning my candidature, I want to point out that uh, I think it's important to note that the, the problems that have been uh, here are because 
is because uh, PPI hasn't been very uh, transparent to the outside. So people, uh, there are people, a lot of pirates that don't know that there exists a Pirate Parties International. And I think if we change that and people see that what has already been done, thanks to the previous core team, uh, was already a good direction, and then if we continue in that direction, that people that are not now here will see that if they join the PPI, they can benefit from it. I will just give one example. Uh, that's the ACTA task force that has been established, and there was one uh, the, uh, press release that has been uh, signed by a lot of different uh, members from a lot of different pirate parties under uh, uh, the, the coordination of the core team. And I think that's one example to show that, in my opinion, the core team is uh, coordinating the different pirate parties and it's not imposing any, anything on it. And if, uh, that's my uh, view of the PPI. So uh, I think it's about extending the uh, communication and therefore uh, also trying to get new and better ways to communicate. So one example would be the PPI website, which is updated like uh, tw uh, once every two months. If we have already a website that has, uh, I don't know, the dates of the election in national, uh, in national countries, you can have a link to donate to the parties. We have one uh, page where you can uh, support the national parties as a pirate or as a or uh, pirate-like or organization or as a pirate party. So it's one, the PPI should be a center of communication, assemble the contact data and distribute, distribute them. It shouldn't be also, uh, in my opinion, the PPI itself and, uh, of course, not the core team should never uh, be too uh, political. It's... It's always political because you're representing a par uh, party, political party. But it's not telling what, uh, telling pirates where we, the pirate party, think. For example, if there is a journalist from a country, I take the example of Belgium, would ask me to give an interview about copyright law in Belgium, I wouldn't give it. I would transfer the, the data to the Belgian pirate party and let them speak up because it's their opportunity to get the publicity and to get uh, the, to get advertisement for them. It's the PPI shouldn't be this should be behind uh, at, at well should be uh, intertwined between the parties. They all be the, the connection point. So oh, I'm sorry, I thought you had the question already. Um, for that matter, I also want uh, to have. Uh, other means of communications. I don't think, uh, and I noticed this while preparing for this conference, uh, you cannot announce something on the PPI general list because people don't read it or just look at it and they see, oh, there are three replies. I won't look at it because people are discussing and I know how the people can discuss on this mailing list. So I want this website to be really uh, a point where people can look up like a little an archive. You can go to the wiki, you can find the minutes. Also there we have to uh, internally restructure. And I'm really happy that we have the, the, the statutes here. Of course they're not perfect, but we have a structure. We have something to work on. So if you don't have anything, I'll, you have the, the minutes of the core team. But here you have one document you can work on and expand it. So also there we have the transparency already that is increased. Um, for my part, I'm also, because I'm um, candidating as a co-chairman, I want to point out that I'm working in a team. So I would have preferred, personally, the name core team because it has team in it. And I really don't uh, like, I don't like, uh, don't see the core chairman as uh, acting top down, but as uh, gathering the information and then, or distributing it if uh, it gets contacted from the outside, delegating tasks and uh, trying to uh, get things organized. If it, of course, it's 
not always that easy with delegating tasks because, as has been pointed out before, uh, there are problems finding people that uh, want to get active. But also here, I think, if we extend transparency, people will see, okay, I have a, 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 an ACTA declaration from, I don't know how many countries this was, 20, 30 people working together on it, and it was a great tax, has been sent out in so many countries, and you see there is a result, and we can help, and then also those parties uh, are not now uh, in this room, we'll see, uh, yes, we'll see uh, PPI can do something and uh, they will look over the statutes and it's just formality. We have a meeting uh, next year and we'll change what has been changed. Let's focus on uh, getting things uh, working so they have uh, the DC that uh, PPI can actually help. So. Okay, are there any questions? Oh, sorry. Are there any questions? Okay, no. thank you. Thank you. Um, if we could now move on to... Where are we? Ah, right, okay. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Joachim Mönch, 42 years old, married with children. I work as a head of department for client-server architecture within the maybe one will know that firm, with the firm Giesecke and Devriant, where we are striked on, on different security proposals, starting from banknote printing up to cryptography. Yeah, we're printing money that might be helpful, yes. <laughs> well, um, I, see myself as a, I see myself as a grassroots pirate. So, uh, to be honest, I'm not that in, in or no longer in, into getting more structure and even more structure and even more structure. I'm quite experienced in it. I've been, I've been working in political organizations for over 20 years, um, starting my pirate career as member of the board for the census boycott in Germany in 1983. This is long ago, but I always claim this was the beginning of pirate movement, the census boycott in 1983. Um, by... <coughs> At the moment, I do not cover any other position within the pirates. I always neglect, neglected that because I say, whenever I start to candidate for a position, that will be the only one. I see the problem that a lot of pirates are starting to collect titles. I'm not into that. I don't need that. And I don't need to lead. I'm here to work. That, that's essential. And this is why I didn't choose to, to, to write down the preferred position, co-chairman, or even board member, which is always nice because you have never claimed to do something, um, but especially to say, I'm willing to work as a CAO or, if still needed, as a treasurer. Well, let's be honest. We will still need someone who has to work. Well, <laughs> And that's where I come into place. I'm not heading for number one. I have no need to see myself as number one. I just want to do a good work. And what I can promise you is that I work truly, that I work respectfully to all your demands, and that I work trustfully. And that is, to my personal experience, quite a lot. Thank you. Okay, are there any questions? First candidate. Now, if we move on to Nicholas, who is... Yes, he's there. Come on, let me get we got a vote. Um, right. Yeah, hello. Um, well, uh, I'm the treasurer for PPI at the moment. Mm, I'm with one of the few core team members that would like to continue that. My task, so to say. Um, I've been basically working with PPI since September um, when we didn't have a bank account, <laughs> uh, which we do actually have. Uh, and I've been responsible also for the conference, for ACTA stuff, um, and a lot of other issues that we had during. Well, uh, mediations, uh, all sort of stuff. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think my opinion is that PP is important. It's, 
to work together, and that's important for us. If we don't work together on international issues while actually the other party, which are uh, governments uh, working together on issues against what part party's issues are, and um, well, the copyright industry uh, is working against us in a coordinated way, so it seems that we need a coordinated movement to work against them if we are going to win. If we don't want to win, we can work in our each country and uh, play that little game and it will work, uh, but it will not beat them and we need to beat them. So that's why I'm working for PPI and think it's important. Um, and uh, I'd, yeah, I have an IT background um, uh, and um, well, uh, at the moment we are arranging for this conference and uh, all the procedure of the EU that we finally got the money, which was nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good with paperwork, uh, which is what we had with EU, which was very interesting. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'd like to continue. I think I'm good at it, and um, I think that um, people, people from the core team we have now has been happy with my work, so I would like to continue with the same thing for a new core team. And it's up to you guys to decide if you want to me. Are there any questions? I remember one thing. He gained knowledge that a random new treasurer will not have. And this knowledge brings money. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, I'm Perlin, Berlin, uh, from Parti Pirate, uh, France, and that's why you will excuse my English. Thank you. Right now, I don't have any responsibility in the French party, and uh, I am probably the oldest in this meeting. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can. <laughs> Uh, I started, you'll see, I started to be an activist during the 70s with anti-militarism, especially international marches, then anti-nuclear and ecology, especially topics linked with uh, technical stuff and feminism, and now free software. As a hippie, yes, I travel a lot, and I know four European languages, I used to live in a few countries, especially Brazil. Hello, Jessica. About formal education, I'm an engineer. I'm a PhD in science, technology, and society. I'm a computer programmer, and I have to an European master in public law in political administration. Profes I am old, I told you. Professionally, uh, I used to be a journalist and I worked during 10 years as a parliamentarian assistant of a French Green Euro deputy. Uh, I was in charge of internet topics. I worked too for a French Green senator in charge too uh, of internet topics. And uh, recently with the French Green Euro deputies elected last year, building their website. Because in fact right now, uh, I lost, uh, I built website uh, based of a free uh, software, a free software CMS. Uh, wait a minute, I have technical problems. A free CMS uh, called SPIP. I am a part of this community since it started nine years ago. It's a native multilingual software um, built with uh, basically about 40 languages. Here are two books I wrote, of, or two of the books I wrote. The first one, uh, which is called The Fight of Free Software, is for a general public understanding what is free software, history, aims, geographical and political challenges. It's in French. And the other, about electronically vote, subtitled Democracy Black Boxes, 
which is edited un, uh, under free license, and you can download it for free if you want. I wrote to a technical book about the CMS SPIP, um, I told you be, uh, before, which is called uh, Practical SPIP under free license to, you can download for free too. Anecdotally, I want to talk about another a book I wrote uh, last year with my daughter, who, is, who was at that, at that time nine years old. Uh, it is on how to of an online game, a uh, MMO. Now about this election, about the PPI. Uh, I should to be glad. I should be glad to be elected, um, as was I called Babel's angel, which is not uh, right, um, written here. It means something like coordination of translation. I plan to build a multilingual website which could be used easily all around the world uh, because it's a very easy way to link translations between them. Uh, I should for sure be really glad to be part of the board at any, any place. And I just want to add something about what happened this morning uh, with a group who was not uh, glad with uh, what was decided, and they left. And then they realized that maybe it was a little bit important to have information about the future coordination in PPI. So they decided to come back. And I want to tell them that I'm very glad that so quickly they realized, in fact, they are in the processes, and they are not outside the processes. And um, be sure they will sign one day, and they will be part of PPI one day, which I, I want to tell, this is for me really a coordination, a node, and no more. Thank you. Okay, any questions? Um, I'm sorry to bring this back. There was a question online to um, Nic Nicholas from the last one um, that uh, it didn't come through before uh, you, you sat down. Um, what about transparency in finance? If you could just quickly say a few words on that. Uh, well, um we need to get better in that, for sure, uh, for PPI. Um, at the moment, uh, up till the conference, we have not had much money on the account to be transparent about. Minus 25 euros for a while, a little bit in from the Dutch party, which we acknowledged on the mail lists. Uh, the exact amount we may not have acknowledged, but we can say that it was 220 euros or... Uh, which we transferred back to PPNL. Um, uh, at the moment, there is coming more money for trips from you, um, which I have to calculate. So, well, it's going to pay the trips. Um, so I'm still waiting for it. Um, but we are working on making it more transparent. Uh, of course, we can do as some parties here discussed and publish everything online almost immediately. It shouldn't be a problem. We are a bank. We do CSV export and we do import somewhere. I mean, technically, it's not an issue. Uh, I think it can be achieved. Uh, we need to be better, set up new guidelines, maybe uh, in the future work on statutes for that. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's an ongoing work that we have to get better on. Um, again, as with um, Xavier, he's not here, um, and I haven't heard anything from him. He's listed on the wiki page, so you can check that if you want. Xavier, Xavier Villa, who is the current uh, current court team member, but couldn't be here, I assume, due to the volcano. Um, okay, that's, so that's all the candidates. What I'm going to do now is ask Andrew to explain how you can go about voting very quickly, and then we will get to them. The actual voting. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, I'm going to give you a voting ballot. 
Um, just write the position that it is, so chairman, and then write the candidates uh, that you want and the pre preference that you want them. So, for example, I could write chairman and then Bob Schneider and then the other people. Uh, if you don't want the other people, uh, just, you just write it in the preference that you want until you have no other preference. Uh, so if you want one candidate, that's fine. Um, and then you do it for the board members as well, uh, and the treasurer and CEO. Uh, the uncontested positions um, are also against... So these, those two, uh, they're running against Ron, so which is reopen nominations. So if you don't like any of those, uh, you can write... Uh, them or and then Ron um, it's STV as well so it's a preference so you can reopen nominations or vote for them yeah. Uh, yeah. we already have one person applying for the uh, administrative role which I, I can understand that um, if, if you if you are not happy with that candidate mm -hmm. then just write reopen nominations or Ron R O N as your first priority, and then that will if that if that vote wins, we then have to reopen nominations and see if we can find another candidate for that role. But it's still a preference. But vote. it's still a preference, so okay. it still works. Okay. Um, so okay? if the if the people if the delegates could come up and technically um, it's one vote per country. So if the delegates from each country could get together and decide one vote on the country, I would say if you can have, say, five minutes to discuss this amongst yourselves, maybe talk to some... What does Laura do get someone like this? What are the rules? Uh, is... Um, what's the quorum for electing the board? Majority. A majority. But given so a majority of the people who have signed, because uh, I mean, how many votes does someone need to get? To get oh, it's a quota worked out by probably getting the vote. Now. But there are always be someone. It's 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 majority you, you, open, you reach you number. reach a quota. You, we have a quota. It's normally about two thirds. Um, if if we can, okay. if you if you if any, if if you can talk to him about this later. Yeah. For now, though, um, if if the country if somebody from each country. Get a piece of paper, and then if you can go, if you can go and talk to your delegates. Hmm? Five yeah, five minutes, and then after five minutes, come and hand in your votes. Also, also feel free to look on the wiki to have a look at the candidates who haven't been able to speak today. Okay, can we settle down? Settle down, and we'll we'll finish this off for now. Okay, I hope this is the last time I have to pick up the microphone. Okay, thank you. Um, just a quick guide to what's going to happen now. We're going to go through, obviously, the announcements of the board votes, and then a few uh, remaining technical details. Then we will have a five-minute break so we can move tables around for the press conference. The press conference should take about 15 to 20 minutes when um, Samir and the new board will speak. Uh, and, then, um, and then we can go our separate ways if we wish. Um, for those interested, uh, 22 countries have so far signed the statutes and signed up to be founding members of, of PPI. Um, we have, and for anybody interested, we have an uh, official signing document on the statutes that anybody who has signed is invited to come up and sign after the, uh, the press conference, just so it's all down on paper. Uh, for the vote, right. Um, thanks to uh, Andrew and Sven for carrying out the vote. Uh, uh, 19 countries voted. The co-chairman of the, the first official PPI board will be Jerry and Gregory. Jerry and Gregory. Congratulations. Um, yeah. Nicholas will be returning as the treasurer. The... 
the, 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 vote, the official votes will all be available online on the, where, on the wiki and elsewhere once they've uploaded them. Yeah, they'll, they'll be they'll be available in a second. The chief administrative officer was is uh, Joachim is over there. I wish you good luck with that. And the three other board members are Bogo, who is there. Jakub, who is Jakub, who is at the back there. And Alexander, who is... Where is he? Somewhere. Alexander? Alexander. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yes, there! Um, right. So, congratulations to the new board. Uh, there is a common declaration of pirate parties, which has been produced, which you heard about earlier. Um, there are copies of it at the back on the piano and I would encourage all pirates to have a look at that and consider signing if they agree with it uh, what else is there um, it would be helpful if if during the five minute break you could try and make sure stuff is moved back so we can have the uh, press conference here. yes Thank you for right. I'm very sorry about that. I forgot about the lay auditors, the, th the three lay auditors who are responsible, who are elected by the assembly to uh, report yearly on the finances of PPI. Uh, we had one application for the position. Is anybody else willing to step forward? These, these, this is the lay the the lay auditors, who uh, is, a, is a technical role. Where, whose job it is to look over the PPI finances each year and report on them. Um, I, I'm very sorry about this. I thought we'd finished all the voting. It, it's, it's just people who are responsible for checking the finances. Um, ideally, we need two more volunteers. One more volunteer, thank you. One more, anybody? I feel slightly reluctant to nominate myself, as, as that might be. In that case, uh, would, would anybody object if I proposed myself for this? Okay. Okay, so is anybody opposed to appointing the three volunteers? One, three. No, one, two, three. The three volunteers to act as lay auditors and basically once a year report on the finances. Uh, I, I will volunteer for the third, unless... Uh, I, I will volunteer if no one else will. I... I the question is, are the, the countries who are part of the Assembly willing to accept us three as the lay auditors? Is anybody, uh, uh, anybody opposed to this? Right, okay. Uh, who is for this? Uh, can somebody... <laughs> We're still in the same session, so it's still the same counters, but you can't count. Uh, Jerry, can you count? Can you please count? No. I think I think I think we can we can. We, we've had one vote for. We've had no votes against. So that's a, that's a majority. Uh, right. It, it's purely. Okay. Um, just final things from me. Just thank you to Nicholas for sorting out the European Parliament trip, which involved quite a bit of effort and handling large amounts of cash. <laughs> Thanks to Gregory and the Statutes Task Force and the Czech team for their work on the statutes, whether or not we agree with them. There was a lot of work got in there, so thanks for all the support there. <laughs> and finally, thank you to... Are they here? To Jürgen and Monica and the Belgian Pirates and everybody on the Conference Task Force for looking after us for three days and organising this location and all the events. So thank you very much to you. Um, and that is that for me. I will now close this session.
Thank you for your patience and have a safe journey home. So I use the break in saying hello. Thank you. Um, I, shh, one second, well, very, very quick. As my role as an international coordinator for the German Party, I would like to await you in four weeks' time in the weekend of the April, uh, the, it's a May uh, 12th. 15th. The May 15th to our uh, party assembly, we will be expecting about 1,000 or more than 1,000 pirates. It will happen in Bingen. And I want to invite everyone to come there. We'll have, a, we'll have a special team taking care of international delegations there, and you can coordinate and network there. It's just if you are close by, we're happy, to, um, we're happy to accommodate you there. Thank you. I've got, to, I've got one more for you. I'm not here to complain or something, even though you think I always do. Uh, I'm here to invite you on the 22nd of May next month, which is just the seventh day to our national election. We already got a confirmation from Amelia, and we are doing the uh, pirate conference in Prague. We already got the people who said they're going to come, which will probably include also the major boat attack to the local uh, parliament building. Uh, with the fire show and all the techno music and dancing. So it's going to be the conference held in Prague. We'll let you know in advance what's the program and stuff. And uh, which will end up in a good pirate party. It'll be free, you know. And we've got good beer and we've got nice pirate chicks in Prague as well. Uh, sorry to the... I didn't mean it bad. So it's the 22nd and since we've got a context, you know, and it was a nice time being with, here with you, you know, we'll let you know and you'll be very welcome to come to Prague to celebrate the upcoming collection with us. Just give us five to ten minutes to set everything up and then we'll start with the press conference. Thank you. Can we start? Test, test, test. Everyone, please be quiet. We're about to start. Well, welcome everyone. As you can see, I have a glass of beer in my hands. That means that I'm celebrating something. <laughs> well, excuse me? Yes, I'm celebrating that I'm no longer uh, the, the, the co-president of the core team. We have a new team. And I will tell you guys something which is very, very important. Um, a large part of their success will be based on your support. Without your support, they won't be able to do much good. And I'm telling this from experience. And, <coughs> well, for a last word, um, I would like to say thank you to everyone involved. And um, I also want to express that I strongly believe in the future of this organization and in the good efforts that it will achieve. I will further moderate the meetings here if you want to ask questions. If you want to ask questions, uh, uh, raise your hand. Um, start with mentioning your name so that you can be quoted by the press. And on IRC, questions will come in as well. The conference will start right now. Okay. Will you keep the, the mic for the questions? Yeah, so but the, the wire is not long enough. Okay. So... I'd like to introduce myself. I have been elected as the new co-chairman of the Pirate Parties International. And uh, my name is Jerry Weyer. I'm from Luxembourg. And I'm happy to take this task. And I want to thank all of the delegates for their uh, support. Now, I uh, just want to quickly introduce you to the new uh, board which has been elected today. So uh, we have uh, at the right we have Nicola Zalquist, who is the which will be the new uh, and the old and the new treasurer. Then we have uh, Bogomil Shapov, 
uh, will be a board member, Joachim Munch as an, another member of the, of the board, excuse me. We have uh, Gregory Engels, who will be the other co-chairman uh, of the Pirate Parties International. We have uh, Jakub Michalek, who will be the m a member of the, uh, will be the chief executive officer. And, no, I'm sorry. Finally, we have Alexander Blagojevic from Serbia, who will be uh, also joining the new uh, board. Uh, as you see, there we don't know each other yet because we have met here, and that's already uh, why this has been so important, this meeting and this founding meeting, because pirates are uh, from the Internet, and uh, they uh, don't know each other physically. So this whole weekend has been about getting to know each other and formally founding uh, the PPI so we can expand the pirate movies beyond national borders. So uh, the weekend started on Friday where 54 pirates from uh, over 19 countries joined uh, Christian Engstrom at the European Parliament. Uh, Christian Engstrom is the uh, Pirate Party MEP at his invitation, we arrived uh, at the European Parliament on Friday, and he gave us the opportunity to stay uh, in Brussels and to uh, actually uh, organize this conference. Um, then it was uh, on Saturday where we uh, got through all the discussions and we started, we laid the foundation for this new organization, which will be the organization that, uh, that organizes the international movement of the pirates all around the world. Um, we also have to apologize, well, not really, it wasn't our fault, but the nature was against us uh, with all the problems with uh, the volcano. We couldn't have uh, Rick Fogwinch here, who, was, uh, uh, who announced his presence, but uh, because of the flight cancellation couldn't come so it would have been great to have uh, the founder of the pirate uh, movement here and discuss the future of PPI but uh, we uh, are sure that it's not the last conference and there will be enough opportunity to meet uh, him and other pirates um, so we finished uh, the conference on this uh, this afternoon by, with the election of the board and uh, the final uh, social uh, meeting was lunch and we uh, got to know each other and it's a lot easier to communicate in person. We're all going to leave. We're from, our pirates came from all over the world. There were pirates from uh, Europe, of course, the majority, but we had pirates from Brazil who took a very long uh, journey to come here from Turkey, from Russia, from all over the world, who gathered in this place to, uh, uh, to cherish their, uh, the, the basis, to have a common basis, and to be able to, have, to found an organization that represents pirate parties all over the world, to work together and to move forward. So um, I will give the voice to Gregory Engels, the uh, co-chairman, uh, who will explain, uh, we'll discuss more about the future task and uh, what uh, the PBI should and should do and uh. <laughs> okay. um, Well, thank you. Yeah, my name is Gregory Engels. I'm from the German Pirate Party and now also um, elected co-chairman of the Pirate Parties International. And I would like to... Is it okay? It's very... I, I hear it's... If I talk like this, it's not working. Continue your chat. I was trying to be discreet. You're trying to be discreet. Uh, yeah, well, it's not worked. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm overworked a bit this <laughs> weekend. I wrote the whole Mitchell's last... <laughs> Whatever. I want to continue to uh, the outlook, what we have beforehand. This was only the first step. It was a bit of work um, t um, on this weekend done. Uh, but we still have a lot of work for us before we, we are still um, we have a lot of founding members now which I'm very proud of it 
um, that we take this step. But we are um, we have open application. So we have we are open for application for other from other pirate parties. We are open for application from other pirate related organizations and second tier parties, and um, also. We opened up publication for the city that wants to run the next pirate conference. And we want to support the next step. That it's like actually if there is a country where there is no pirate party yet and you want to, want to start one, also come um, and contact us and we will see what we can do to, keep you, to give you a kickstart so you can hit the ground running. And just be with us in any time soon. The content industry is taking the organized efforts to worldwide to try to limit civic um, liberties throughout the world. And today we just take the next step of fighting them back. And coming to that, I would finish with the words like of some of who I share the last name, something to rephrase, the last name with, to rephrase him somewhat to say, Pirates of the World Unite. So if there are any questions, feel free to ask them now. Uh, Wilfred Gartney from the Netherlands. Um, you've chosen for a construction with uh, two co-chairmen instead of one chairman, which is quite unusual. Is there a specific reason for this? Uh, who do you want to ask? Uh, well, I'll ask one of the co-chairmen. Either one will be fine. There is... Uh There's a reason for this, and it's because uh, we are a, a team. This is a team, even uh, if, uh, if we had a chairman, one chairman, we would have uh, the uh, image of one person sitting, uh, sitting on top and representing PPI or even uh, parties, which is not the case. This is uh, a team. It is uh, not a coincidence that the team who has prepared this meeting was called, well, it was called the core team. Uh, the assembly now changed this to, to uh, the board, but we are uh, still working as a team, which is why we choose to have two co-chairmen, uh, co which can uh, uh, distribute the work among uh, the other members of the boards uh, as uh, necessary. Questions from IRC? Someone from IRC said uh, they share a chair. No, they won't share a chair. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Next questions, please. Uh, Wilfred Gartink again from the Netherlands. Um, I've been a witness this weekend of how the conference uh, took place. Um, eventually, you have uh, a huge a number of founding members. However, uh, two of the countries represented, uh, representing pirate parties at this conference did not sign it. Uh, what will be their status in the, within the PPI? Because they will want to uh, participate in the pirate movement. Do you want to? Yeah, even they're not members, the founding members of the PPI. They're still part of a pirate movement, obviously. They're pirates. And um, what their future status into the PPI will be is entirely up to them. They can apply for membership on a future date and come back. As, as I understood it, they will to come back to their party leaders in assembly and to get ratification for the decision what they should do next. Um, and... Anyone else with a question? 
Oh yes, in turn, but you can ask your second question now because you're the second, uh, the world, first one in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm the only journalist here that helps. Um, but the, okay, so they can apply for membership on a later stage. But uh, what will be the status meanwhile? Because you maintain a working relationship with these pirate parties. Uh, of course. We will uh, continue to work with them. They are not uh, part of the founding members of the PPI, but PPI is an open organization. We, uh, everybody can apply to membership, and that doesn't mean that if you're not a member, you're excluded from, from the work or from the benefit that can you get from PPI. It's also uh, true for other parties who are not here, who are not represented, or who haven't, haven't even been founded yet. They can all uh, uh, contact PPI. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to apply for membership even for for us to uh, get in contact with you. Every pirate party, every pirate can contact us, and we will uh, try to answer and to uh, to uh, communicate in a way and try to help everybody. This is an open organization for every pirate party in the world. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Perhaps from. Uh. Hello to the board. I'm not. A, uh, uh, ciao. Uh, I'm not a newspaper guy or something. But uh, since you are sitting here, and it's the first time we can actually uh, approach someone who is elected and who's got the you know right to decide, and we put the beliefs in you. So, could you just explain us what is the, you know, very future program, what will be the, nec the very next steps that you're going to take after this meeting in two, three weeks when things will settle down, you know? So, you wait. Um, you probably think what we are uh, making... Uh, Alexander Blagojevic. You're probably thinking about our... Uh, agreement on the uh, program in the last 15 minutes that we're working on. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. Uh, we, are, we, we are dedicated to be open, to be uh, as much as professional as we can in the, in the matter of the job to get done. And um, there are no questions about that. Uh, I got the questions from IRC about uh, uh, why uh, some country didn't sign or something like that. That, is, uh, a uh, that was a constructive uh, voting, that was a constructive um, a collaboration these days, and the case is open, we are moving forward. Uh, every pirate movement, every pirate party is free to join us. We are expecting them, as well as uh, a pirate from uh, Africa. That's that's clear enough. What? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Add something. Yes. So, since we have been elected now for 15 minutes, obviously we did a lot of plans of how to run Word. Um, and um, as, as I heard um, Jacob saying that he wants to um, change some internal communication structure beside the, inside the core, um, uh, core. No, no, it's not a core. It's a head. Still, still there, sorry, uh, inside the board. Um, I'm, I'm strongly supporting this, and in fact, I think we will change to um, an open uh, telephone conference uh, schedule inside of a, instead, of a tele, um, instead of an RSC meeting. It will be still um, broadcasted to the open world, and there will be recordings there. So um, I actually have a, in mind a technical structure for this. It's already in place. Um, we just need to agree on that, but I'm strongly believe that we will find an a solution, um, and we will um, send out a press release about the conference and forming the press in, I think, about like one or two days' time. Let us get home and get some sleep, please, first. And um, there is, yes, there is some some issues we need to work on inside of communication of of the board and communication into the to the outside world to the to, to our members to the other pirate parties, and we. It will be. It will be our first top A priority to work on that. Thank you. Other questions? IRC. Okay. 
go to finish up and we then some final closing words from me and then I pass then the microphone to other people to say something last five minutes last words. Um, so I want I thank you to come here and I will really I, I really happy uh, eager to see you again in the future and I wish you a good way home beside regardless of any volcano ash clouds. I think we're all uh, happy if we can have a beer together and celebrate. So I'm going to close today this press conference. And thank you very much, everybody. And see you again, hopefully, very soon. Thank you. If, if you want to uh, have uh, uh, some uh, to sign this this paper for had to have a special photo to take home and show to your to the pirates at home you can come here and uh, make a photo of uh, the delegate signing so you have a little souvenir yes. pirates unite Arr. Arr. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.